You know what's happening, everybody? How's it hanging? Welcome to the gym. Thank you so much for being here. I am joined by Heather, and it has been a while since we've had you on. Yes, since our it has. last pre-release, a few months. But we're so excited to have you back, Heather. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Been here at Full Grip since noon today. I'm ready to do some Long more card touching. Day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Been here touching cards all day. That's my job. Uh, and now we get to touch some more cards. But oh, yeah. these are not just any cards. These are very special cards uh, as they are the new set, Temporal Forces. It is... Uh, it feels like it's been a long time coming for this. We always get like the holiday set. Yep. You know, which isn't like a real set. No, it's not. Sorry, holiday <laughs> set. Sorry, 151. You're not real. <laughs> yeah. There's no booster boxes. It doesn't count. Um, so this is our first, you know, formal set since Obsidian Flames. Yes. Yeah. Holy smokes. And we didn't, like, Full Grip didn't get its pre-releases. No, we did not. No, for Obsidian or Flames. Paradox Rift. Paradox. Oh, that's yeah. Paradox Rift. Paradox right, Rift. That's right. That's right, yep. right. All right. But that's the one I'm thinking <laughs> yeah, of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, Obsidian Flames was before LAIC. But yes, Paradox Correct. Rift. Yes. All right. Man, time's just time's just flying by. It's but, fine. It's but fine. we didn't get our... We got we did Obsidian Flames pre-release. Correct. We didn't do Paradox, but we were able to backdoor some kits. <laughs> And we made it. Ha we made we, it happen. We always make it happen. We did. <laughs> we did. And now we are just sixty seconds away from the new set. Are there any cards that you are particularly excited for, Heather? Man, I love the new illustrator rare of Bianca. Um, okay. Because I always loved the original Bianca full art from the black and white yes. sets. Yes. Gorgeous card. So. Why not get another one? There you go. And then also the Snom Illustrator Rare. Those are good choices. That's a very basic choice, but I don't care. A little, very good Little choices. gummy worm guy. He's so cute. <laughs> and it's like, it's not like quite a clay artwork. It looks like it's no. kind of like a, I don't know, plastic mold or yeah. something. Yeah. He's like, like, he's made from resin. A yeah. little fella. I know, right? <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to adjust the camera real quick, and then we're going to get going with some things. I just think that we're a little high, so... It's okay. You can say I'm short. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, that's not it. It's just see, that's better. Isn't that better? It's it, better. It's a little Is better. there was too much headroom, even for <laughs> even for me. Even for you? Okay. <laughs> yes, even for me. Sure. There was too much headroom. Yes, but uh, but yes, we've got our pre-release kits. Welcome to the midnight stream. These always feel like a special occasion because. We only do them every uh, every set, so it's always fun to stay up late, way past my bedtime. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but my I'd be conked out. <laughs> my phone went to uh, night mode two hours ago. <laughs> I got the little notification, I'm like, oh, why is my screen brightness different? Like, oh, oh. <laughs> that's right. Yes, I am up way late. Yes, my Pokemon Sleep app's gonna be mad at me. Like, Why didn't you go to bed at eleven thirty like you promised? Like, <laughs> Did you catch any of the the legendaries in Pokemon? They're Sleep not yet? out yet. What? I know they keep teasing it, but uh, soon. Okay, okay. I did catch two shinies. Well, today. that's pretty hype. Yeah, man. Dang. Okay. I'm All saying. right. Okay. Dang. You must be getting some good sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. Now let's hope that translates to these <sighs> to good pulls. Yes. And we had been we we kind of uh, joked about that a little bit before going live because I you know not that anybody's keeping score but <laughs> if we were keeping score on hits at the pre-releases I'd be up. Um, I think I have like. <laughs> Let's see. I got a full art Team Star Grunt, uh, full art Annihilate, and then you got the SAR, I don't know, the SAR Charizard. <laughs> Do you get the Iron Valiant at the last one? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did get a gold mess ball. <laughs> for base set. You did. You did. You did. It's yes. Not, it's not looking good for me. It's Heather's time. Yes. That's what it's I'm my, trying to it say. It is my turn. It's Heather's turn. So we need everybody's everybody's well wishes and positive vibe thoughts going to Heather's pulls today. <laughs> Pretty please. Speaking of today, it is officially March 9th. It is 12.02 a.m., and that means that we can get cracking. Let's get it. If this is your first time joining us for a midnight pre-release, I'm going to go over how we do things here. 
Heather and I are each going to open a kit and then show off the contents of that kit. And we are going to open two additional packs to go with our kits. Usually you get bonus prize packs for participating in a pre-release uh, after you play. But Heather and I think it's more fun if we open our prize packs and then enhance our decks <laughs> with them uh, for you all to see and enjoy. So we're going to get our prize packs early. And then as a, treat. Uh, as a treat, right, to help us enhance our decks. And then we're going to build 40 card pre-release decks, battle them against each other in a quick best of three, and then we're going to do it again. And uh, that means we'll have four kits opened, uh, you know, eight extra booster packs, and a good show for you all. That's it. So let's get right to it. Heather. Let's get it. I'm going to pick right this time. Select your what kits. What does the claw select? <laughs> this one right here. Excellent. It's calling my name. <laughs> it's going to have the Matang. For my metal deck. Okay, is that the is yes. that the the one you want? That is the, the one I am hoping for. Right, I'm the Matang make this, deck. Hold on, I'm working on aesthetics. Oh yes, get okay. a nice a nice yeah. aesthetic the background aesthetic, going There you on. go. Focus right. Okay. Oh yes. And... Perfect spot. Yeah. Go. There we go. All right. Let's just tear it open. Get into it. Okay. Be gone, trash. Let's see who we're rock. Hey, what do you know? First kit, we've got the Matang with his really cool metal maker ability. So once during your turn, you can look at the top four cards of your deck and attach any number of basic metal energy uh, to your Pokemon in any way you like. And then you just shuffle the rest, put them on the bottom. That's freaking sweet. So I'm, I'm so pleased. First one. <laughs> I'm so stoked you got the you got the Matang kit. That's I, awesome. I have been a metal liker. <laughs> Yes, for so been, long. <laughs> you've been a metal enthusiast at least the entire time I've known you. Yes, in I I had to break up the, with the worm. He was he was letting me down. <laughs> the earthworm. The yes. earthworm. He wasn't doing it. For no, me but anymore. this Matang. No, he's gonna he's gonna fix metal. We're for good. Sure. We're chilling. All right, so got this gorgeous, lovely, handsome Matang. Look at him. Love it. All right, and we're gonna take a look at uh, this kit. We've got one of our new trainers in here, Morty's Conviction. Got, oh, Totodile. So a little hybrid with the Fraligator going on here. He hits really, really, really hard. Put five damage counters on him, and he does 120 more damage that same turn. So you're doing a whopping 280 uh, with a single prizer, which, you know, in pre-release format, if Andrew happens to pull something silly again, I can just, you know, here's my gator. It's going to smack you. So pulling through the infamous Buddy Buddy Poffin everyone's been hyping about. So you can search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less. Put them straight onto your bench. It's going to be a good setup. Oh, I love the art on that Croconaw. Very cute. Got, there's the Metagross. A Relicanth. Each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions. Very cool. Another Buddy Buddy Poffin. Love to see it. Going through. So yeah, I've just got a water metal hybrid deck going on here, which I am very pleased about. And two Buddy Buddy Poffin. That is really nice for a prelude kit. Oh, for sure. Especially when consistency cards can be kind of a <laughs> yeah a rarity when you get maybe one Ultra Ball in your box. <laughs> so two Buddy Buddy Poffins. Godsend. Very good. All right, got four of these packs ready to go. And, um, yeah, I'm going to take this one and this one for my bonus packs as a treat. So we'll start off with uh, this funny guy here, Iron Leaves. All righty. Send me the good luck, please and thank you. We've got an adorable sleepy Raichu. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> He's just resting under the tree. He's minding his own business. Bronzor. Mudbray. Delamaze. Oh, cool. Electivire. Sick. Ooh, Chinchino. Now, his special roll attack looks a little, a little scary. 70 damage for each special energy card attached to this Pokemon. So he can do some crazy damage if you load him up enough. Got a Sandy Shocks in the reverse hollow. 
Love the new reverse hollow look for the ancient and future Pokemon. I like this a lot better than the usual patterns, uh, just in my opinion. And then we got the art rare Bronzor. He's very, look at him. He's admiring his reflection. I know. He's so handsome. I know. Yeah. <laughs> if I were that handsome, I'd spend a lot of time looking at myself in the mirror too. <laughs> he's just, he's taking a peek. Good yes. for him. All right. So I'll take, oh, <laughs> wait, whoa. Okay. All right. It's well, not over. It's not over. It's not over. All right. Cool. Well, I've got a Bramble Gas too with the resilient soul ability. Interesting. All right. But I'll take it. Already starting off with an art rare. I'll take it. Next up. I forgot what his name is. <laughs> Walking Wake. Walking Wake. I love it. All right. Hello, Bronzor. You're not admiring yourself in the mirror. Mighty Aina. A Duosian. <laughs> love that haunter. Ooh, a rescue board. So the retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is one less. If that Pokemon's remaining HP is 30 or less, it has no retreat cost. Could be an interesting choice. Got another Sandra Shox. <laughs> <laughs> hand trimmer. So each player discards cards from their hands until they have five cards in their hand and your opponent discards first. Okay. All right. Interesting. Got a Slugma. An ancient booster energy capsule. I completely forgot they've already reprinted these. I can't believe they just <laughs> released this Yes, card. this was yeah. just in Paradox Rift, and yet, all right, here we go. Here, all right. have another one. Another for Alligator, which is very nice for me, because I can slap him right into my pre-made, pre-release deck starter, so I can have all the for Alligators I please, and that is that. It's great for your consistency. I love it. Yeah, lots of Feraligators. The Feraligators seem really intimidating. Just dealing 160 damage for two. That's it's really good. That's, that's free. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we can't use it the next turn, that's still so much damage. All right. We get another one. I'll get rid of it. Okay. On the front, we have a Ghastly, a handsome little dolphin, a Dunspares. <laughs> Another adorable snom because they they never mess with the snom arts. Got Sableye, great tusk, extremely handsome. Morty's conviction. Got another thing. Oh, <laughs> I'm seeing Yo! some pink on here. All right, okay, I'll take it. We've got an A spec card. So the Pokemon this card is attached to just gets 100 HP. That's plus 100. Plus yeah. 100. No luxurious cape caveat. You don't take an extra prize. Look at that texture. I haven't I haven't even seen these yet. Oh my gosh. Love it. The squares on it. Can super I see cool. It? Yes, you may. I am also <laughs> very curious about the texture on these because we just haven't haven't seen these yet. I've seen them in Japanese, but I have to say yeah, these seem like they're they're just I haven't really quite seen something quite like it from TPCI, so it seems like it's a kind of new printing technique for them, and it looks really slick. It it does just look really nice. I'm very impressed. You know, it, replicating those print patterns from Japan is not easy, and uh, this this looks fantastic. So really nice looking A spec there. Yep, I'd have to agree. I'm I'm impressed. They've got me. On the end, we had a Whimsicott and a Zero Aura. Not as cool as this guy right here. So I'll take it. Love that. I almost had like a jump scare of the red border. I was thinking, you know, Team Flare Gears. Oh my gosh. Like, no, no, no. It's pink. Yeah. Not quite. <laughs> Is that Flare Gear? All right. Got a jamming net. Ah! All righty. That's the energy on the end there. Save me a step. So we've got a psychic type of Zoomerill on the front. That's wild. I feel like yeah. I've never seen. Yeah, that's. It just looks wrong. Because we have the fairy type ones from. It's because uh, fairies yeah. recast is yeah fairies recast as psychic. So I don't is, have they funny. ever printed a psychic Azumarill before? No, I don't think they the have. First, yes. That's uh -huh. cool. All right, it is cool. Look at him, handsome guy. And then of course I'm I'm a Yamper lover. Got a heart on his butt. I love this guy. He's just happy to be here. Got a Grubbin, Metacham, Zeraora, Trapedo. Another Metagross. See, I'm ooh. This deck's gonna go crazy. A Snom, a Heatmore, 
And on the end, the new Fluttermane, who has not gotten a card yet, another ancient Pokemon, uh, has the Midnight Fluttering ability. So as long as this Pokemon's in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities except for Midnight Fluttering. So we can turn off some abilities, have a little fun there. I do like him. Very handsome. All right. Everybody's handsome. I say that about all the cards. Well, there are many handsome. <laughs> there are many handsome Pokemon. You're spitting. So true. All right. Poochiana. Wiglet. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's he's make it just making sure I don't fit in. Right. <laughs> Arbok. C dot. A future booster energy capsule, because if you reprint the ancients, gotta reprint the futures. Delcaddy. Turtonator. A shift tree. And on the end, good old fashioned Melmetal. Doesn't have any text on the card other than the attacks. <laughs> they said, nah. He's a simple man. <laughs> He's a simple man. He you attach five in, energy. <laughs> he hammers in and he iron bash. That's it. King. Yep. <laughs> I love that for him. Good on you. Maybe I can put him in my deck since he's a metal friend. It's Power true. him up with Matang. It's true. All right. And my last pack. Let's see how it treats us. A Pikachu because they, you know, can't go two days without printing another Pikachu. Ghastly. Elgium. Oh, Bacon Strip. Arabska. Fortress. Ooh, full metal lab. So metal Pokemon take thirty less damage from the attacks of the opponent's from your opponent's Pokemon. Another metal perk for me. That could be huge. I don't think that these kits have stadiums in them. So no, I, if you get that out, it's gonna oh, stick. Oh yeah, I'll I'll take it. Heck yeah, Shaman. A reverse Hollow Buddy Buddy Poffin. I now I have three of these to play with. Unstoppable. <laughs> and on the end, an upside down Iron Boulder. All right. Oh, he's very handsome. Look at that guy. <laughs> Don't know why he was upside down in the pack, but all right. <laughs> Repulsor Axe, 60 damage during your opponent's next turn if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, uh, even if it's knocked out. Yes, I can't read. Oh, my God. <laughs> even if it's knocked out, you place... Uh, Eight damage counters on right. the attacking Pokemon. Yes. And then Power Stomp, just a good old-fashioned 200 damage. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. Look at him. Yes, a handsome lad. A handsome lad. Of all the, I know you're trying to read it like, off the screen. I'm like, you're... oh, the the glimmer, <laughs> the glare. <laughs> oh, geez. Unfortunately, he doesn't fit the typing of my deck, but no, but extremely handsome. I think of the metallic, legendary. Uh, I don't know what what are these guys called? The legendary, <laughs> the heroes. Yes, the the tr the swords of justice. That's the, it. Those yeah. guys. Yes, of the justice. Uh, league members. <laughs> uh, he's my favorite metal Justice League member. All right. Iron Boulder. Yes. What a guy. For sure. Okay. And uh, now it's time for you to show me up. Yes, Heather, <laughs> you had your opportunity to select the kits. There's no way I could possibly rig this. You had your pick of kits, your pick yes, of packs. Th that is correct. Your pick of packs. These were sealed. Yes. I will select these two and this kit right here. Let's go. Can I? And which uh, which dragon? You're going with the Ember? Oh, dragon yeah. Shield, Ember please? Dragon Shield. All right. Very cool. Some orange. Orange. <laughs> yes. It's a very lovely walking wake there on the front. Time to get building and battling. Let's see what we can. Constructing and destructing. Yes. Let's see what we can find in our kits. We've got Coridon as our promo. Look at that. Very handsome wheelie dragon man. 140 hit points. The primordial beatdown attack does 30 damage for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. And then Shred 130 goes through all effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. And then I think there's Pull Tab. I've been doing this long enough. <laughs> I just fight it. <laughs> I know. It's, it's just never easy. All right, here we go. I'm in. Hacker voice. <laughs> I'm in. 
There's our Coridon and in this kit, whoa, luminous energy. Oh. How fun is that? Wow, we've got <laughs> Matang, Coridon, Fluttermane. Well, Fluttermane's an ancient Pokemon, so that makes sense. And Coridon does more damage for the amount of ancient Pokemon. Oh boy, <laughs> we've got all the ancient fellas in here. Great Tusk as well with that Wrathful Charge attack. Could do 160 if any of my bench Pokemon have damage counters on them. Metagross. I've got Sada's Vitality. Oh Explorer's Guidance. Buddy Buddy Poffin. Jacques. Youngster. We'll shuffle draw five. Okay. So I've got the Ancient Matang deck. That's very cool. Oh, um, you're mad. Mine came with two Buddy Buddy Poffins. You oh, only got one. Dang. <laughs> she was... You're she mad. Was, she was auditing. <laughs> she was auditing. You know why yours came with two Buddy Buddy Poffin? I know why. It's because you get one Buddy Buddy Poffin per stage two line. And you got two <laughs> stage two lines. Yeah. See, half of mine is... Yeah, Buddy Buddy doesn't even work with Karidon, so it makes No, sense. it doesn't work with Fluttermane either. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it just works with the Matangs. So that's why we get, just got the one. <laughs> yeah. See? All right. There we go. So I'm looking for ancient Pokemon and metal guys out of my booster packs to see if I can sweeten this ancient Matang deck at all. I like the concept of this, though. I mean, these are some big basic Pokemon. There's not a lot of setup involved with the Coridons. You just get them into play and start swinging. So should be pretty uh, pretty smooth sailing there. Okay. First up, we've got Hoot Hoot. Love my Hooters. <laughs> Can he say that? Beldum. Heatmore. Roly Coley. Honestly, S-tier Pokemon right here. <laughs> I, I, was, I had my fingers crossed. So good. <laughs> so good. He's a wheel. Iron Valiance, Sharpedo, another Metagross, another Roly Coley. Man, Sheesh. I love Roly Coley and Colossal and Carcol, Relicanth. So I got that memory dive as well. I'm curious as because I think you got the Relicanth. I did. And there's always there's intention in the kits. So I think you probably got the Relicanth for for Alligator since for Alligator can't use its attack. Maybe it can copy something. Right. Else. Right. I also got a Bramble Ghast. And my Lightning Energy. Very cool. That's pack one. On to pack two, baby. Skitty. Electabuzz. That's a funny pose for Electabuzz. He stands up. He is. <laughs> he's posed up. Yeah. Bramblin. I can play my Bramble Ghast if I wish to. Yes. Giraffe rig, Iron Hands, looking for Ancients here, but Morty's Conviction's a good card. I mean, definitely solid for the uh, for the pre-release formats. Shiftry, another <laughs> Bramblin. Here, have another one. Yes, Shatot, and a Maridon EX, two hundred and twenty HP. It's got the Repulsion Bolt Attack, which costs a Lightning and a Psychic, does 60 damage. And if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, it does 100 more. And then Cyber Drive, 220 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Cyber Drive. A big, beefy Pokemon EX doesn't match any of the, you know, synergy of my deck at all, much, nope. like, <laughs> much like Heather's hit. But, uh, <laughs> you know, he's nice. I mean, you got, he's a, got his little luminous paw. energy in your in your little pre-release kit. He's got his little paw up. You know, I think <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, yeah. he's he's conducting an orchestra. He's like he seems louder. fancy. Yes. Oh, or fancy. holding a tray. Yes, holding a tray or something. Yes, very nice. All right, mid ride on. Welcome, welcome to the team. Mid ride on dragon variant. Mawile. Metatite, Turtonator, another Hooter, Explorer's Guidance, very cool. 
This is a very destructive card in pre-release format. Look at the top six. Pick two. Discard the rest. Oh. Yeah, with no. Uh, yeah, with no recovery. In you the have deck. to discard ten percent of your deck. That when you say it like that, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, that's yes, terrible. Yes, you do. And I think I've got two of those now. Oh so. my gosh. I'll take Morty all day though, so that's fine. Morty's conviction, great. And another Explorer's Guidance. I'm just gonna deck myself out. Actually, is what yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Just a race to deck out. Yep. Yes. Excadrill. And Ooh. a full art walking wake EX. It's an ancient Pokemon. All right. It's got 220 HP and the Azure Seas ability. Damage from the attacks used by this Pokemon are not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. And then Catharsis Roar does 120 damage. And if your opponent's active Pokemon is a is affected by a special condition. You do 120 more damage. I don't think I'll have any way to inflict you with a special condition, so this thing's kind of locked at 120 damage, but it is a basic ancient Pokemon that boosts my Coridon's attacks that I could use in a pinch, so I'm definitely slamming this in my deck for sure. All right. Another handsome lad for the pile. So true. Walking away. Let's go. And the Luminous can help pay for it. It's true. I got a Luminous. I can just play a Water Energy. Very handsome Roselia there. Love that. Adorable. My wife, Beauty Natalie, life. collects all Roselia, so she will need that Roselia. I She will have no trouble finding an English Roselia <laughs> from the set, but I always like to deliver her the... I'm like, here you go, honey. I've got you, your Roselli. It's the first one. You know what I mean? I pulled this just for you. I pulled this just for you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drillbore. Relor. Dung Beetle. Bianca's Devotion. Iron Jugulus. It's got the automated combat ability. If this Pokemon's in the active spot, it's damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon. You put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. A little bit of a strike back effect there. It's pretty neat. Lycanroc. Cool. Rock rough. Paw shake punch. <laughs> the, I know. The the translation team has really been going buck wild <laughs> lately. Uh, they've been having some serious fun. That's for sure. Rock rough. Carvana. Whimsicott, and my basic darkness energy. Two more. And then we're getting building. Building and battling. Setting up and scrapping. The Sizzler. <laughs> Thank you for the sound effect. You're welcome. <laughs> Mer he's nice. I mean, really. A psychic Meryl. Look at him. He's just under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> Golet. Ellie Jim. Another Iron Jugulus. Full Metal Lab for hey. me, too, but I can't counter your Full Metal. Nope. <laughs> we might just be dealing 30 less damage to each <laughs> We're other. We're having a lab off. Yes. Golurk. Dang, he's he's kind of cool. Looks like the Iron Giant. Delcaddy. Excadrill. Oh, look at him. Oh, what a handsome boy. He's working in the mines. <laughs> He's on his lunch break. He is on his lunch break. They yearn for the mines. Uh, <laughs> uh, I sure hope he's making a livable wage down there. Oh, he has to be. Look sure. at his friend in the ceiling. Who is this? <laughs> there's, an <laughs> there's another Excadrill like in the ceiling. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there is. What is he doing? He's working. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Poking his head around. On a fifth Coridon. Whoa, and, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I can play it, okay? I can play the fifth Coridon. There's no limit to the number of cards of the same name that you can play in a pre-release kit, so in a pre-release format. So I can play my fifth Coridon. Let's go. All right. Last pack. Electabuzz, Bramblin, Giraffe Rig, Roselia, 
Colossal. What a unit. Holy moly. 180 HP. Gatling Tar. I just love Colossal, so I'm going to read this. Gatling Tar does 40 plus 80 more for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. Wait, what? Ooh. 80 more damage for each fire attached to this Slap Pokemon? Slap a Luminous on that bad boy. That's crazy. So if it's got two fire energy and a fighting, it's doing 200 damage. That's so much damage. <laughs> That's so cool. And then Cragalanch does 150 damage. Okay. Boxed Order. Not to be confused with bosses' orders. Very <laughs> different. <laughs> Very different cards. Oh Here my go. god, that art is so cute. Scream tail. Supportive singing. Do you think this thing does any supportive singing? I think not. Oh, he's putting his whole heart into it. Yeah, no, more like screeching is what it's doing. <laughs> well, his name is Scream Tail. That's so true. <laughs> Miraidon Reverse. That does look nice. I like that. And this card is a card that I'm excited for in standard formats. And it's maybe even Gym Leader Challenge. We love to see it. Dragon. Dragon is living. Dragon representation. Scyther. And Iron Valiant is my hollow rare. So All that'll right. do it for our first kits. Heather and I will now take some time to construct our decks yes it is time we'll put on a little little lo-fi in the background get uh yeah just some chill lo-fi going on while we build our decks real quick so that we can battle them against each other and then uh yes it looks like the mods are on it you can predict on who will win game one will it be i or will it be heather it's gonna be it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. All right. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty confident, I have to say. I mean, these ancient guys seem redundant. I mean, yeah, they gave you the schnasty setup with all the ancient dudes. I don't know, the Gator Boys. He was a gator boy. Oh, my so goodness. Oh, my gosh. I forgot you did get the A-spec, though. Yes. That A-spec could be huge. 100 HP, just for fun. Ah! I just noticed it's got the uh, rotation block H on it. That's Is that the first one you've seen of yes. that? Yes. And H for Heather and Hero's Cape. There you go. I'm very easy to please. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that makes life more fun. <laughs> I'm saying. Yes, for sure. I don't really think I have any evolution Pokemon whose previous evolutions I want to use, but I did get another Beldum. That's nice. And another Metagross. I mean, really, it's going to be using the kit. Excadrill, you're very handsome, but you're not invited to the deck. No. Neither are you, Maridon. Sorry. But Walking Wake, you can come. That's fine. And I got lots of supporters to add to my pile, so that's nice. I feel like I could use could use more uh, Sada's Vitality, but dang, they give you an ancient booster energy capsule. My yeah. dudes are going to be huge. For alligator doesn't care. For alligator does not care. It could even knock out walking wake it sure can that actually kind of stinks i don't think about it dang i don't, <laughs> want, I don't want my walking wake to get one hit ko by a for alligator not cool then i put the uh relicanth in play can keep swinging oh, i guess metal maker can accelerate to all my dudes that's that that is insane so crazy i mean okay i guess so i think i'm just setting up like all of my Coridons, and I just want to be doing like 180 damage with Coridon. But if I put anybody who's not Coridon in play or an ancient Pokemon in play, then it does less damage. And for Alligator, it's 180 hit points. It's the only way I'm ever knocking out for Alligator. throw a Roselia in there for fun to activate your special conditions. <laughs> I poison it. As a treat. 
<laughs> poison point? That's yep. That, you know, it is possible. No one ever said it was good, it's but it is true. possible. It's true, it's true. Okay. I've got lots of Mortys. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> Morty, you gotta... You gotta play the explorer's guidance for you. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta. Uh, I can't put too many explorer's guidance in my deck. That's gonna be. <laughs> what? You don't want to discard ten percent of your deck? Oh my gosh. It'd be funny. It was, think, a, it was a joke. I've lost you by decking out before. <laughs> you had to point it out to me because it was two in the morning. Yes. But yes, the Togetic Yes. Draw deck out was uh -huh. very funny. Full Metal Lab. I mean, maybe I'll just let you play it. <laughs> That's the option. Uh-uh, no, you play it. No, you play it. No, yeah, no, I'm not no, taking up a deck. I'm not taking up a deck spot to use it. You do it. <laughs> nuh -uh. Yeah. See, if we both play it, then... So then it's funny, like, well, who's going to play it? <laughs> the stalemate. Right. Neither person plays their neither, lab. <laughs> neither person plays it because neither person wants the opponent to have it. Right. Okay. So I think these guys are just more ancient dudes to have in play, really. They're not really for attacking. I suppose I can attack with them, but the odds of me being able to attack with them are, like, not super high. Ancient dudes. Okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. <laughs> My ancient boys. <laughs> I think as cool as the Karaidons are, I think the Metagross is probably just the best thing in the deck. Metagross he does swing hard. Does 200. Oh, Meteor Mash. 60 and then 60. I like that. Luster mm -hmm. Blast is just a nice 200, though. Can't beat that. Yeah, the more I think about it, your deck's kind of scary. Got those for alligators. They can actually knock things out. Here they out. come. The Gator Boys. <laughs> the Gator Boys. Gotta play Seda's Vitality. Gotta play my Jacques. I'm not very sold on the Tusks. It's like somebody has to have taken damage without being knocked out, and then I have to retreat them. It sounds like a lot of work. Like, that does sound like a lot of work. I'm not missing something, right? Like, that just, that's like how it would have to go. Heal 100 from, oh, it's cool. I've got Screamtail. I can put him in. He's ancient. <laughs> search your deck for up to two item cards reveal them put them into your hand there's not enough items to search for to make that worth it the vast majority of what I'm doing is everything that was already included in the little kit I just threw in a Mel Metal oh heck yeah and did the you cape get, did you get the Meltan oh I'm so dumb. Heather was about to. I was. <laughs> I forgore. Heather's about to send Mel Metal. No, 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 little guy. Did you pull the little guy? No. <laughs> I, I completely forgot. God, I would have loved for you to try to bench that thing in the middle of. The I would have looked at him and been like, "Oh, mm. funny, funny, funny story." Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would have been sick. Oh my! All right. Okay. Well. No Mel Metal. It's fine. It's We're fine. chilling. I don't need him. I don't need it. Okay, I like this little Screamtail, actually. He's got one retreat. That's fine. You know who doesn't have one retreat? This Great Tusk. There's no way. If that, <laughs> you start that thing, then you got to power it up. Big boy. Horrible. All right. I'll play, like, one Explorer's Guidance. You know what? I'll play I'll play two Explorer's Guidance. You don't have to play it just because it's in your hand, you know? No, you don't. I can play three Explorer's Guidance. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, you'd certainly be thinning your deck. I don't need this fourth beldum. Just simply draw into your beldums. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, just, just draw cards. Yeah, just simply draw into your beldums. All right, all right. Then we need lots of metal energy. What's funny is, like, I have the Maridon and... I could play... <laughs> Yo, I got Maridon and Maridon EX. I could accelerate to the, but they just don't go with my my deal at all. No. But it's so sick. I could peak acceleration, 
to Murad on If I could just guarantee that I could get them both out every game, I'd be doing that. But there's no quick ball or anything. It's just not happening. Nope. Yeah. I think the official ruling is that you cannot play two A specs in your deck if you pull two. Yes. The text on the card overrules. Yeah. The sacred texts. Do I have an Ultra Ball? Very nice. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Okay. One Ultra Ball. That's a treat. <laughs> a little bite. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 6, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I got one spot. Dang, that hero's cape is cool. It is really cool. And if you're interested in owning any of these cards right when the set drops, we do have pre-orders live at fullgripgames.com right now, ready to go. And those will be going... Oh. I'm getting my dates wrong. <laughs> you haven't set a date yet. No, I'm trying to remember them in my head. All I know, pre-orders are live right now. And yes. they will be shipped out to good, be in your hands. Good employee, Heather. Yes, I'm a great employee. It's the 9th today. <laughs> all right. And then the official release week is Monday the 18th. Yes. That's probably when they're going yes, out. Yes, that's when they will go out. Excellent. I, yep. There we go. Done. I, we got there. We did. And thank you so much to everybody who's already placed a pre-order. Helps Heather and I to keep our jobs, which is very nice. I love being employed. Me too. It's great. <laughs> so... Thank you all so much for supporting the shop, supporting the content. Thank you to all the subs tonight as well. Uh, really appreciate uh, the viewership too and just being here and spend some time with us as we open and show off the new cards from Temporal Forces. Let's see. I'm going to count my energy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where I want to be. Oh, and I need that luminous. Dude, there is the luminous. Okay. That's cool. Right. Yeah, I rock with that. You got Send your, it. You got your deck ready to go? I got my 40. <sighs> Me too. All right. We're rolling. How will I search the fighting energy if I don't get them in the start? I'll get them. There's four. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Just draw it. <laughs> There's four and a luminous. Let's see. Uh, you know, I mean, I could run into that issue, but these are only 40 card decks. And then once you find one, you can solder it back too. They're only 40 card decks and you're like thinning your metal energy out. I've also got two Explorers Guidance, which can really help you to dig, right? Like you're gonna see almost like you're gonna see a, a really significant chunk of your deck every time you play. The Explorer keep guys. gambling card. Yeah. So I I think it'll be okay, but honestly, this is just as much a learning experience for me as you know anything else. So we will see. I think I've got 14 energy in the deck. I mean that's that's a good chunk of the deck. So I don't want to play any more than that. <laughs> oh good lord, they're right. <laughs> I didn't put any water in my deck. Oh. Yeah, that would be very helpful. I just threw in 10 metal and called it a day. Thank you, chap, for saving Heather. From yeah, I'm really I'm really on top of it today, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> chat going to keep you honest. Yeah, I wasn't, that's fine. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't looking over there. No, no, no. That's... I was going to let you roll with it. Nope, nope, no, nope. You want some water energy? Yeah, I need some waters. Give me some waters. Didn't water come in your kit? No, well. Mm. See, they try to put these guardrails... <laughs> to keep you on the track, Heather. It's, it's fine. I got it. I got oh, it. Got We're chilling. Better. We're chilling. It's fine. The, the Indeedy energy box. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but does Heather need water energy? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a. You're, you're, you're right. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I forgore. Ten, ten. You need more than ten energy, Heather. What do you mean? 
mean? You need like ten's tw- perfect. You need like twelve. Nah, I'm chilling with ten. All right. Yeah, you do your ten. All right. <laughs> me reaping versus me sowing. <laughs> you do your ten. Yeah. I'm minding my business. Yeah, I'm a mind mine too. We'll my see. skin is clear. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest for those of you at home who are going to maybe your first pre-release this weekend, I suggest 12 energy. 12, mm-hmm. that's like, you know, you're not going to be missing too much with 12. 10, you're living on the edge of 10. Yeah. The edge of winning. The edge of winning. Right. That's so true, Heather. <laughs> That's so true. Girl who forgot that you only gotta take Mel Metal's not a basic voice. You only gotta take four prizes. No. That's what four I'm saying. Four prizes. Four prizes. Yeah, you only gotta take four prizes. Yeah, man. Easy. I plan on hitting like four metal off my metal maker ability. So. Oh yeah. I'm curious as to how this is gonna go though. If you get a gator set up, or <laughs> I if can my, actually attack with or it, or if my Karidons are just gonna start going in turn two, or if I even have enough ancient Pokemon. I think I got enough. Ancient nah, Pokemon. you're chilling. I think so. I got at least. You got eight. all the gamers. I got like eight. Yeah, that's, I got so many. Yeah, we're chilling, dude. I can't wait to explore his guidance twice in a row. <laughs> Discard the top. Just keep digging. Okay, let's get our dice out. You know, I got this little... Goodbye, dice. I got this little, like, tray from, from like, a Michael's or something. <laughs> and I put little, you know, and then while I was at the Michael's, well, I saw it at Michael's, and it was just a wooden tray. And I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, this thing was made for my dice. <laughs> like, it's so perfect. This is awesome. And... Then I, uh, you know, I was at the Michaels and I was like, all right, well, I need to, you know, I bought little felt to like put in the bottom to make it like real nice. <laughs> We're at a pool table. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh I, put my the, God. I put the felt in. I did the craft myself. Bro's but, crafty. But what, like what, what would this thing even be used for if not for my dice? That I don't even know. That is a great question. Like what, what was this thing? Too short for utensils. Way too short for utensils. Too small for like little plants, right? You'd have to have like the perfect little jars <laughs> like if you wanted to display anything in this maybe candles like maybe oh maybe candles i don't know but dice we'll we'll see about that dice for sure <laughs> exactly. it, is, it was meant for dice plants the the smallest plant figurines <laughs> candles yeah <laughs> i don't know but it's the perfect dice tin or dice container and i haven't seen anything like it nope. since all right. All right. There's one change that's happened. We use the big die to roll oh, now. Oh, sure. Yes. Heads or tails? Tails. Whoo! Tails for me. I'll go first. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I draw my hand. Dang. That would have been busted had I not mulliganed. <laughs> okay. I like that... Mulligan, because I don't have much going on right now <laughs> in my hand. Karidon about to be swinging for like 30 damage. You're going to draw into your underground exploration. Yep. And you're going to mill half your deck. And get to discard four energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Andrew, so high and mighty about playing 14 energy, immediately discards four <laughs> off of Explorer's Guidance. Yep. Uh-huh. Well, I got a basic this time. We're chilling. Okay, excellent. Four prizes, not six. Perfect. I'll take my mulligan. Take it. Good All luck. All right. Good luck. I will draw for turn. Top deck that full metal lab. Crazy. May as well slap it into play. Oh, 
And of course, I'll play my Buddy Buddy Poffin, search my deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less, grab me a Totodile, got my Hero's Cape in my deck, which is great to see. It's not prized. I think I'll just go ahead and grab another Totodile. I want two of them. Right onto the bench they go. Did you open Double Poffin? I did open Double Poffin, I think. You're cracked. I'm so nuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll throw in another Beldum so I'm, we can have two of them. I'm so roasted. Yeah, you're, you're bodied, man. I'm so bodied. <laughs> double Poffin going first. Turn one, Double Poffin. So lucky. Oh, Should have cut that deck. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I didn't I didn't stack it. All right. Well, it looks like that's all my frolic or my totodiles, so And all the Beldums? We'll just add another Beldum in. All right. Yeah, that's that's good. I'll take it. And they're already on the bench, so they'll be ready to start evolving. I've got Jacques in my deck. That'd be a nice guy to run into to grab me two evolution Pokemon. This is a very intimidating board turn one. Hmm. Oh, and a basic water energy? Oh, yeah. Fat pass. <laughs> Draw? He's sweating. I am sweating. <laughs> I was all... Heather, you should play 12 energy in your deck. No, no, not 10. Never do less than 12. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> me reaping. Me sorry. <laughs> I'll bench my Fluttermane and my Beldum. Attach Fighting Energy to my Coridon and play Jacques, which allows me to search my deck for two evolution Pokemon, put them into my hand. And taking a look through my deck, I do have the Walking Wanky X in there, which is cool. And I've got the Luminous Energy in my hand. I'm not playing any Waters, just the one Luminous. I figure if I really want to get the Walking Wake going, I can attach the Luminous to it. That's fine. And really, I just want to get a Matang and a Shweaty Gross. So we will get... <laughs> Why you got to call him that? Sweat a gross, <laughs> sweaty gross, because he sh he sweat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he probably doesn't sweat. He's metal. He's but, made of metal. <laughs> but I've always called him sweaty gross. Oh my god. Yep. All right, Matang and sweaty gross to my hand. Yeah, so I wasn't getting the walking wake. I was just looking at it in my deck. <laughs> just want to admire him. Just He's wanted handsome. to see that it was there. Got the Matang and the Metagross. And pass it to you. All right. I draw for turn. <laughs> Get another Buddy Buddy Poffin. Can't use it. There's no more basics with 70 HP or less in my deck. And I think I'm kind of stuck here. I've got Metagross. I've got Froligator. No Matangs in sight. So pass it on back to you. Okay. Can't do a darn thing. Nothing, huh? Draw? I'm actually cooking over here, so <laughs> we're yeah. so back. We're so back right now. I can bench my scream tail, increase my ancient counts, evolve my Beldum into Matang, and Metal Maker. Supporters I would really like to see, but I did find a metal energy, nice. which is cool. I can attach that metal energy to Coridon. And then shuffle the other cards. Oh, I'm going to get a Primordial Beatdown. Put them onto the bottom of my deck. You thought you were going to get a Primordial Beatdown. You're actually getting Shred. <gasps> no! Luminous Energy to the Coridon. And we are shredded. It's my hover. <laughs> 130 damage. And I ignore all effects yes. on your Pokemon. Beldum's out of here. Goodbye, Beldum. All right. The turn to Shred. Man, <laughs> we're sending in another Beldum, another brave soldier. Going to draw for turn. Hey, there's Jacques. Would have loved to see that last turn, so I'll go ahead and play him. 
Search my deck for up to two evolution Pokemon. Grab myself Croconaw. Grab myself Matang. Shuffle, shuffle. Perfect time to find a Jacques. Right. Yeah. Just <laughs> starting to sweat. I know. The old fashioned uh, turn one explosive start and then oh, I'll, I'll just sit for a while. I opened all my poffins and nothing else. <laughs> and then nothing else. Evolve into a Croconaw. Evolve into a Matang. Then I will Metal Maker. Look at the top four cards of my deck. See if I can. Oh, three, four. We hit two basic metal energy off Ooh. of that. Sheesh. He's going to start attaching to himself. Because I know my Frowligator takes two waters to attack, so it can't go to Mr. Croconaw over here. So... And then the other two cards, the Croconaw and the Jacques, are going to go back to the bottom of my deck after I shuffle them before I forget. For later, as a treat. All right. And then I'll pass. Draw. And, yeah, looking like a metal maker. There's all these cards that I wish I could put into my hand, but I keep sending them to the bottom of my deck. <laughs> Goodbye. So much pain. That's, Goodbye, sweet prince. That's fine. And, you know, nothing bad better not happen to this Karaidon because it's all I'm working with right now. Attach Metal Energy to Matang and Shred for the knockouts. Yikes. All right. Matang, it's your time to shine, pal. I'll draw for turn. Top deck of water energy. Not terrible. Thank goodness I had the Metagross in hand for my starting. Do you want starting. a Metal Maker first? Oh. <laughs> 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 he can't do that once he's evolved. <laughs> so we'll look at the top four cards of my deck. Not a single one are a Metal Energy. Oh, and I'm sending two draw supporters to the bottom of my deck, too. That's painful. All right, your medal's been made. Oh, that's stinky. I lose that ability when he evolves. That's fine. We're chilling. All right, so now he's a Metagross. He's all grown up. Evolve this Croconon to a Frowligator in the meantime. Hmm. Still need two more metal energy to get to a Luster Blast. See, so Meteor Mash is not going to knock out this Coridon quite yet. But. However. It does next turn. And I can't knock you out. Correct. So. so instead, we'll just give our friend Fralligator here another water energy as a backup, and I will Meteor Mash for 60 damage. Okay. Draw? I just keep drawing Metal Energy off the top, but not off Metal Maker. <laughs> okay. Metal Maker. We found one. He made a metal. Oh boy, what do we what do we want here? If I do 130, and then I do 90 minus 30, that's 60. 130 plus 60, that is enough. Yeah, I'll attach to Mrs. Flutterman. Sure. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Just got a lot of. Twelve energy. Yeah, twelve energy is a good amount to run. <laughs> I'm I'm running fifteen or something, fourteen maybe. Oh my god! I just really wanted to hit my makers. All right. <gasps> well, you yeah, certainly hit your energies. I have. I've just been hitting the energy off the top of the deck. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> so unlucky. I'll attach <laughs> metal energy to flutter main, and shred for one thirty. All right. He's hurting, but he's hanging in there. Thank you, Full Metal Lab. 130, 120. Full Metal Lab ain't doing squat because Shred goes straight Oh, through you're it. spitting. <laughs> you're so right. Thanks for nothing, Full Metal yeah, Lab. Yeah, thanks thanks a lot. Jeez. Making me look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Top deck of basic metal energy. Oh, not much I could do here. But you are taking the knockout. Which I am nice. taking a knockout. This is true. 
I'll burn a buddy buddy poffin. Take a peek at my deck. Relicanth, you're too fat. But I love you. We'll go ahead and shuffle that back up. Dang, if your for alligator gets the hero's cape. <laughs> that you're could, so bodied. That could be disastrous for me. My comically small deck. All right. So, we're going to Meteor Mash for 120. Take the knockout. Karaidon goes down. Heather's I take a on, prize. Heather's on the board with her first prize. Promotes my Fluttermane and draw for turn. Yo, Fluttermane can be kind of juiced. Got the Shinasty. Yeah, I got the Ancient Boosty. All right. <laughs> uh, let's Metal Maker. Okay, we'll attach a metal energy to Matang and put these cards <laughs> on the bottom of my put these cards on the bottom of my deck. All right, fine. I think you should underground exploration. Yeah. I wish I could get the cards off the bottom of my deck. Yes, I wish I could. <laughs> and then I'll attach ancient booster energy capsule to Fluttermane. I don't think it matters, but it's just kind of fun to have it there. <laughs> attach it's nice. Metal energy from hand. And Hex Hurl for 90 damage, minus 30. So it does 60, which will knock out the Metagross. Yes. And I get to place two damage counters on my opponent's bench Pokemon in any way I like. We're going to put two on two for Alligator and take a prize. Youch. For Alligator, you got to save me. It's not looking good. I'll draw for turn. Top deck another for Alligator. Not helpful. Would have liked to see like anything else <laughs> but that's okay um i can't use giant wave my next turn if i attack but i don't really have much of a choice there so i will giant wave for the knockout here flutter man goes down heather takes a prize I and i'll prize. send up my very brave matang <laughs> the Draw. brave little matang that could i keep getting the metal energy off the top all right metal maker my goodness why did you whiff you whiffed for game, dude. You whiffed Come for on. game. It's, it was for game, dude. All right. It's fine. Get there next turn. Get there. Slowly but surely, we will get there. You can't attack this turn. No, I cannot. But you know what? It's fine. Evolve into Metagross. Attach Metal Energy from hand. Meteor Mash for... 60. Yeah. You're not a metal Pokemon. No. I am not a metal Pokemon. He's water type. That I know, but I apparently forgot that Meltan was a Pokemon, and I also didn't put water in my deck, so. <laughs> it happens. Draw for turn, got a youngster. Not terrible. <laughs> kind of stinks. I'll shuffle back in my Fraligators, but that's fine because they're going right back into the deck. We're going to youngster and draw five fresh cards. Not to fling them everywhere. Metal Maker is so fun, honestly. It really is. It's a fun little ability to use. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. What? We hit the hero's cape <laughs> off the youngster. So now my Fraligator has 200 HP left. Whew! We're still in there, gang. <laughs> 200 HP left. Well, conveniently. Oh no, <laughs> Luster. Oh no. 200 HP. It do not matter. <laughs> the 20 damage from my flutter. Oh main. my god. Mapping things out. It doesn't perfectly. even matter. <laughs> I have to pass. I can't attack. Giant wave. You know what? And thank goodness I've got another energy. <laughs> Luster blast. Dang it. For 200, and that is GG. Not even my hero's cape could save me. No, no. GG's. Painful. GG's. Okay, game one is in the books. And yeah, the, the Metal Maker ability was, was super clutch. I'm getting the turn two attack with uh with Karidon. That Shred. was crazy. Turn two one thirty is kind of nuts in a pre release format, for sure. It uh yeah, I mean that that kind of set the tone for the rest of the game for me. What are you hoping happens in mm. this game two here, Heather? Well, 
I think another two Buddy Buddy Poppins in the opening hand would be great, but also followed by, you know, a few more game actions. Yes. Be great. I'd love to see Relicanth come into play so my Fralligator can actually do something after using Giant Wave. Yes. Mayhaps trap you What does Fralligator's attack do? Uh-huh. Or the other one. The uh, Croconaw, Croconaw. Reverse Thrust. He can switch back to the bench with one of your bench Pokemon. See, that is cool. The Swaparoonies. Right, and I right. Think, yeah, the Totodile uh, locks the defending Pokemon in the active. Can't retreat. That's cool. So you have some options. That's mm-hmm. why the Relicanth is in there. That mm-hmm. is super neat. Yes. So you can like do a big hit with Relicator and then punch and run. Yep. Like that. That is very cool. I'd love to see that. Especially with your hero's cape. If you can make oh, him really big, here comes punch a big and boy. run, and then come back in, do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And did you put the board in your deck? I is did. There... I do have one uh, rescue board in here. Yeah. So, that'll so like, be... you even have a pivot, which is cool. But I've got the pivot and the cape. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> that is sick. All right. Let's see. we got to choose the outcome. Andrew won game one. Let's set a new prediction for... Predictos. Game two. It's past Lance's bedtime. Might have fallen asleep. Oh, sorry, Lance. Nighty night, Lance. Sweet dreams. (laughs) We appreciate you staying up so late with us. (laughs) I can't wait to hear what everybody's pulled downstairs as well. Looked like we had a pretty uh, full house. I we mean, did. It yeah. capped. Yeah, yeah. Did it really? Mm-hmm. At 45? Wow. It's awesome. Yeah, I don't think we've ever capped on a on a pre-release before. No, I went I went downstairs to grab a water, a little sticky note on that clipboard that said, sorry, we're full. Come Dang. back to the next one. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's great. Great turnout. There's so many gamers down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the den of gamers. All right. You want first? Yeah, I'll go first. Hmm. Interesting. That's two. That's four. All right. Good luck. Good luck. I will draw for turn. Started with the hero's cape in hand this time. Which, you know, nothing to sneeze at there. I'll bench a totodile. Start working towards a lovely fralligator. Attached to this beldum here. I have a matang ready to go for next turn. I also have a draw supporter ready to go for next turn. I'm chilling. I'm big chilling here. I'm going to pass. Draw. My hand's looking pretty nice. Pair of Beldums. Who needs Buddy Buddy Poffin? <laughs> two got of it, them. Two of them. Got it like that. So looks all right. And I've got Jacques to get some Matangs. I don't think there's any hand disruption in this format. So nope. I can freely use Jacques and get my evolutions into my hand preemptively to evolve next turn. Play the Jacques. And let's see. We've got... Our walking wake is in the deck. It's good to see. And my luminous is in the deck. Let's Jacques for... I really want to get to Matang, right? Because I've got two Beldums. Mm -hmm. And then I've got Ultra Ball. So yes, we're definitely going to get two Matang. I'll Jacques for two Matang. Hand trimmer. Whew. I did pull one of those. You did, but I don't think we played it. No. no. It seems really bad. We don't need to play the Manscaped sponsor. No, we're barely drawing cards as it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two Matang to the hand. Beldum, Beldum. And Metal Energy to Fluttermane. Pass to you. All right. We'll draw for turn. Top deck of Metagross. Not too shabby. Evolve into Matang, get him started. Attach a basic water energy to my bench Totodile. <laughs> We're in a Metal Maker. Look at the. Oh. Oh, that's right. I can't Metal Maker. <laughs> this is so messed up. 
this is so messed up. I, I can't believe it. I was waiting for you to try. <laughs> she really tried it. Yes. yes I, oh, man. Yes. I got body. Stopped in your trash. Stop. Stop. Do not look at it. Midnight fluttering. That's I'm right. not allowed to do that. No. What a shame. Yes. All right. If your Matang moves to the bench, you can. But in the active in spot, in the active spot, he can't. Cannot. He can't do squat. He's stuck. All right. Well, in the meantime, oh, I don't want to lose my cape. We'll attach it now. <laughs> I can't remove it. So. No, you can't. It's safe. He can keep it on. Handsome little fella. And then we youngster. Yeah, the other option was Morty. Morty for two doesn't feel great. No, it doesn't feel great. Youngster for five feels much better. That's 170 hit point. <laughs> 170 hit point totodile right there. That is the biggest totodile I've ever laid eyes on. This is an extremely powerful gator right there. <laughs> he lifts. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. 170 hit points. <laughs> Basically invincible. Level 100 totodile. Okay. That rules. Yeah, it does. Another Beldum, we love to see it. Another Matang, we love to see it. And a Buddy Buddy Poffin, we love to see it. Times three, we'll bench the Beldum. I'll play down the Buddy Buddy Poffin. Go and grab. Let's see if we got in here. Relicanth is in the deck. Good to know. Grab another Totodile. And I think I am all out of Matangs, or Beldums. No, I am not. Just kidding. I lied. All right. We've got a board full of boys now. One of them is slightly larger than the rest. Just a little bit. All right. Got all our fellas lined up and ready to go. And I will pass. Drop. Okay, time to see what these Metal Maker can do. We'll evolve both Matang, and I'm trying to Hex Hurl, you know? That's just what we got going on. Metal Maker? That's so crazy, you can Metal Maker to the Flutter main. Oh, yeah. Wild. And we're going to Metal Maker one more time. Nothing, but I think I've got an energy in my hand. Yes. So I'll attach that. And Hex Hurl, 90 damage to the active. Oof. So you just barely hang on. It's all right. Hang in there, friend. And then I can place two damage counters on whoever I want. Uh, so... Oh my goodness! The thing's gonna have like two hundred and eighty. <laughs> to the totodile it's again. gonna have so much. It's gonna have so much HP. I think. I think I have to start whittling away <laughs> at it, right? It's just gonna be too big. So be there nice you go. to him. No. <laughs> yes. Fine. I'll draw for turn. Still can't metal maker from the active spot. This is sad, but I can evolve into this beldum, and I will attach to this totodile, and I will metal maker this matang. Look at the top four cards. We found one metal energy. I'll take it. Attached to himself. These cards get shuffled and put back on the bottom of my deck. As soon as I find a croconaw, this totodile will be one step closer to being a fraligator. But for now, he's, you know, just a little guy that's not so little. Back a big little guy. A big little guy, you know. Yeah. Hey, just, you wouldn't hit a little birthday boy on his birthday. All right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Two fresh cards with Morty. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'll pass. Okay. Draw. Uh, I top deck the Metagross. That's really good because then I don't have to Ultra Ball these Pokemon away. Um, Stonewall and Heather right now. I could bench these Pokemon. <laughs> Help. But there's, there's no reason to bench them. I just have no reason to. So I don't feel like benching them. Um, and uh, And I'm okay with that. Let's Metal Maker. All right, these 14 energy I'm playing this deck, got to start paying off here. 
There's one hit. Metal Maker again. This is ridiculous. All right, the next couple. You're mad. The next couple, they got to be juiced. You're so mad. They have to be juiced. <laughs> All right, not a lot there, but we are still cooking. I think uh, I think I do want my Karidon on the bench just in case I decide to promote it. And then Hex Hurl for the knockout. Yep. And we're going... Yup, we're gonna keep working Still on that. Still getting smacked. Yep. All right. We'll send up a Beldum, a brave soldier, and draw for another Morty. Oh my goodness. You're working with three now. Yeah, though. that's fine. We'll Morty. <laughs> oh, I have to discard another Morty. Oh, it's okay. So I'm not shuffling. I'm drawing a card. Oh man. I don't want to discard the Fralligator though. Yeah, we'll chance it. Oh, a relicant? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll bench the relicant. And now each of my evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions, which is pretty nifty if I can get this for alligator into play. Got a rescue board ready to go. So I can freely retreat my Beldum if I so choose. We'll play the Buddy Buddy Poffin. Take a peek. There's there's Croconaws in here. <laughs> May as well uh, bench another Totodile. Start. Help me find those Croconaws, please. Yes, Croconaw. Please. Yeah. please. <laughs> the Totodile, he's ready. Please, please, please. <laughs> okay. I know it's going to bite me in the butt that I discarded that Morty, but... It might. I'm going to live with that choice. Metal Maker. Hello, Metal Lab. No metal energy. Sending the Jacques to the bottom of the Sending deck. Sending Jacques to the bottom of the deck sucks. Man. Goodbye. Probably should have done that for the Buddy Buddy Poffin, so I could have thrown him right back in. Ah. All right. I'll pass. Okay. Metal Maker. Got one. Get this Matang going if it's the last thing I do. And then Metal Maker again. Oh, yeah. This is what we were waiting <laughs> for right here. Let's go. Let's go. Finally. Popping off. <laughs> I'm popping off now. Okay. And then. He's off the goop. Uh, little hex hurl for the knockout. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Yep, <laughs> I'm gonna undo he's, that. Cape. He's he's losing his cape. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. All right. Well, <laughs> we're sending in another sacrifice because I, I have nothing in my. Oh, Croconaw! There you are. Nice of you to show up to the party. All right. Well, he can hit and run. <laughs> he can hit and run, especially since I've got a rescue board, so my Totodile can retreat. Send him up. Ready to go there. In the meantime, all Metal Maker, just for funsies. Not just for funsies. <laughs> Found one basic Metal Energy, but I will be sending a Metagross to the bottom of my deck. That's fine. Shuffle those three up. Back you go. To the bottom. One card in hand. I will reverse thrust for 30, and I'm going to switch to this Totodile. Look at you go. Putting in the work. All right. Draw. Wow, I got my first draw supporter of the game. This is <laughs> sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm popping off. Um, Metal Maker. Metal Maker. Metal Maker. I think I'm just about metal dry. That's fine. Already. And <laughs> discard the Ultra Ball and draw four cards. Hmm. Perhaps I should have sent up the Totodile without the rescue board. <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes have been made. It's And then... 
think I'm good to just yeah, I could I could just put my dudes down. Yeah, just fine. This. Yep. Attach me, attach fighting energy to Karidon and Hex Hurl for the knockout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup. Poor <laughs> poor crocodile, man. It's fine. We got this. We're hanging in there. All right. Top deck of metal energy. I had the for alligator in hand, so we can start we can start putting in the work here. Attach for turn two. Lovely Matang here. 60 HP left. We're going to have to giant wave okay. <laughs> to take a prize. For alligator takes the prize. It's got 280 hit points Sheesh. total, but only 200 HP left. Only 200. And I've got Metagross. Oh, I'm bodied. Luster Let's, Blast. No, I'm bodied. Yes. Wolf. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Oh. GG's. Yeah. Man. I think the I didn't play hardly any draw supporters, but I did open Jacques both games. Yes, you did. And I think that that proved to be very good. You've got a you've got some really darn good basics that yeah. just swing so hard, like right away. Like powering up stage two feels bad. The turn two attack with the basic Pokemon powered up by Matang felt like one of the best things you could probably do in a yeah, limited format. One hundred percent. Yeah, turn two attack with like a, a decent basic. I actually stopped you from using your Matang <laughs> yeah, with the Flutter with the, Mane. The stupid Flutter Mane. I know, it's crazy. And since there's so low mobility in the pre release format, yep. it was just stuck. They, there, there's there's yep. nothing you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh that's crazy. All right, that's it for this set of decks. Heather and I are gonna start our next kits. Do you need to take a break or anything? Are you ready to go? I'm chilling. I'm ready to go too. Let's, Let's send it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Since Heather opened first last time, I'm gonna open first this time. You know what? <laughs> you pick. Oh, you go. yeah, because you're going to take you the go, one that Heather. has the... You go, you go, <laughs> you pick. Who's calling my name today? Let's see. You know. I can just feel it. I feel it. I'm going to take that one. That kit's calling to you? It's calling to me. All right. Let's get after it. All right. We'll dig in. One more Temporal Forces building battle box let's see the friend that will be f another matang deck <laughs> said nope do it again we'll peek see if this is the same if it's the same exact kit we'll open another one <laughs> <laughs> all right are you plastics so good for the environment oh yep we got another for alligator time reroll kits <laughs> another one all right and for this kit, let's uh, pretend it's like, I know for you guys, this is our second kit, but we're going to pretend pretend it's like not your second kit, you know, because that way for a YouTube edit, it feels authentic, you know? <laughs> I won't tell if you won't. Shh. Roll the tape. All right, here we go. Roll tape. Ah. Should I finish mauling the plastic on this one? What the heck? All right. Again, Temporal Forces. Okay. <laughs> It'll be a different deck. We're starting with the Fraligator as our promo for this one. I get stuck with Stage 2s again, but that's fine. He's a heavy hitter. We'll see how they build this deck. And if it's with Matangs, I'm going to laugh very hard. <laughs> All right. It is not. Ooh, Iron Thorns. Okay. All right. I think you got future gators. Future gators. All right. Destructo Press. We got Maridon. Oh, yeah. So you had Ancient Box last time. Yep. There's a Buddy Buddy Poffin. We've got a future box going on. Techno Radar. Ooh, the Cypher Maniacs Coding. That's a new one from this set. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle, and then put those cards on top in any order. Imagine combining that with the Matang. Kind of crazy. Luminous Energy. Maridon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. <laughs> My second kit. 
We got four packs from here. And I will select this one and this one. My six total deck building packs. We'll swap them around for fun. Okay. Let's get into it. Starting with this bad boy right here. Starting it off right with a paw shake punch, a litten, shroomish, lick a tongue. Iron Treads, hey, a future buddy for my future box. So as long as this Pokemon has a future booster energy capsule attached, it is both fighting and metal type. Could be interesting. Another Buddy Buddy Poffin, let's go. Got a Zara Aura. Azumarill. Oh, a Sinchino Art Rare. Look at him. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. That is adorable. Well, and I did get a Luminous Energy in my kit, so... That's I really one. wanted to. There's one. There's His one. special roll attack will be doing 70 damage. Are there any special energy in the set? You know, I don't think that there is. I don't is. think there are. All right. Guess I won't be playing you. There's Cinchino. mist. Oh. Mist. You could pull well, a mist. Possibly. Okay. And then 140 for two. I'll take it. I like this. We got a substitute doll over here in the corner. Mr. Mime in the window. Skitty and Meryl under the table. That's peak. On the very end, Melmetal, who is a stage one Pokemon. Yes. We all know that. <laughs> yes. All right. Now that is one cute hit. Up next. Toss aside. Dunsparce. Snom. Pikachu. Scyther. Scyther. Rubombi. A hand trimmer. Rabska. Minchino, a Relicanth, and on the end, a Roaring Moon. Very cool. With his Vengeance Fletching attack, does 10 more damage for each Ancient card in your discard pile. Vengeance Fletching, huh? <laughs> it's kind of a <laughs> mouthful. Vengeance Fletching. The dartboard of words. Yes. All right. Next. I do not like this guy. <laughs> no, he's literally a poop beetle. <laughs> yeah, his face is weird. Yeah. Benita Chitat. I would love to see the illustrator rare of this oh, card. Oh, with the notes? Yes. That has the jingle hidden in the background. Vicavol. Ooh, great tusk. Very handsome. Ooh, Salvatore, another new supporter from this set. So you can search your deck for a card that has no abilities and evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve. Oh, it's Wally. It is like Wally, like, but no similar. abilities. Yes. All right. Okay. Could you be could interesting. You could use it to get your uh, maybe uh, your crocodiles out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. Please. Raichu, Rapidash, and on the end, a full art Iron Leaves. Now that is a very handsome lad. Look at him. The Rapid Verne Verneer ability. So when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. And if you do, move any amount of energy from your other Pokemon to this guy. So you can load them up right and ready to go. Got Prism Edge, does 180 damage. Can't attack during your next turn, unfortunately. But that's a really cool card. I like it. And you've got the future set up in your This kit. is true. I have a future box. He's usable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take it. I've got a Luminous Energy to slap on there for the grass type. Heck yeah, we'll take it. And Maridon accelerates energy to anybody. So yes! Yeah, you could. Oh. You could play a grass. We're scheming. Search it out. We're scheming now. All right. Up next. Hey, there's a Meltan. Nuzleaf. Another Mancino. Shift Tree. Bianca's Devotion, Iron Jugulus, Relor, Bronzor, and on the end, Raging Bolt. He's so sick. Look at this guy. He's so cool. This is by far the coolest hit we've seen so far oh, tonight. Oh, yeah. He's so handsome. He His is handsome. Heads are in the clouds. Long neck. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Bellowing Thunder. Discard any amount of basic energy from your Pokemon. Does 70 damage for each card you discarded this way. So he can be hitting some big numbers. Look at this guy. 
That's so strange. And you could deck yourself out by using Burst Roar five times. Well, see, I'd rather go out on my own terms. (laughs) Right. So I will Burst Roar (laughs) for game, not for me. (laughs) Not for me. (laughs) All right. I'll take it. Two full arts. That's pretty sick. Okay. Up next. All right. Carvana. Ekans. Turtwig, very cute. Poochiana, Bronzong, Escadrille, Screentail, Elgium, another Chitat, and on the end, Bramblegast, just a guy. I think there's like a low amount of hollows in this set. Is that what we were I... looking at? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I think like relative to other sets, yeah. We I know you guys did the pre orders, so I think Natalie was chatting yeah, about there's... that. Yeah, there's. The There's sets? not that many compared no. to the sets. Yeah. Compared to the last couple sets where it was like, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Explains why we have a Bramble Ghast infestation. <laughs> On the last pack here. Maltan. Nuzleaf. Mancino. Rockruff. Ooh, Roserade also has the poison point ability. Keldeo. My horn is my sword. <laughs> That's what he says in the movie. Oh. <laughs> my Hello? horn is my sword. My horn is my <laughs> Battle me, Cabellion. <laughs> That's the other thing he says. He said it just like that? Literally exactly like that. Look it up when you go. home. <laughs> Battle me, I, I know what I'm doing when I get home. <laughs> and last but not least, another Fraligator for my lovely Fraligator deck. There you go. Battle me, Iron Leaves. <laughs> yeah, literally like that. <laughs> yeah. For some reason in like the movie... I don't know. Keldeo is like this, like the annoying little one that like He's nobody... the annoying younger brother. He's the annoying younger brother and none of the Justice League want to be friends with him. <laughs> they like think he's like a little runt, you know. And then Cabalion is like very serious. <laughs> and then Keldeo is all like jogging along is like, battle me, Cabalion. <laughs> Cabalion's like, no. And just, like, <laughs> That's when he gallops away. And like literally is like galloping away. And yeah. All right. Now, it's my turn <laughs> to open a kit. You can't possibly beat two full arts. No, no. You did pretty good there. You did pretty good. <laughs> we're, we're, I tried. Yeah, the full art leaves, the full arts, giraffe guy. <laughs> Head in the I've clouds. I've got Maridon promo. Very cool. Let's Excellent. go. It's got the peak acceleration attack, 40 damage, and you can attach two basic energy from your deck to your future Pokemon in any way you like. And then Sparking Strike just straight up does 160. So really, nice. I mean, that's just like a really aggressive start. I mean, we were talking about how powerful the turn two attack can be. Maridon just makes the turn two attack happen. Yep. So I'm really, uh, really excited to see how this future kit pans out once I get it open. Man, if it's Come fu- man. like the future Matang package has to be the most broken one, right? Oh, easily. Come on, come on! It's so late, we can do it. All right, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> we got Maridon and Matang. Oh, oh baby, this I'm is so the body. kit. This is the kit. Oh, I'm body. Matang and the Metal Maker and the Maridon M and M's. Maridon and Matang. <laughs> Not the M and M's. And Morty's, bro. And <gasps> Morty's and Metagross. Maridon Matangs. Oh yeah, and Miriam, dude. I'm just saying, a lot of M- a lot of M's here. Yeah, this is my deck. Oh, yeah, I'm about to pop off with this thing for sure. Let's and he's going to put 12 energy. I'm going to put so <laughs> many energy in my deck. Okay, here we go. Dang, this deck going to be cracked. And I'm going to open something. I'm going to open something ridiculous. I'm going to open like like two Iron Crowns. So true. I'm going to open like two Iron Crowns. Yeah, you are. And then... You know, my Maridons are going to be peak accelerated, turn one for 80. <laughs> and I'm just going to sit here and be like, yeah, uh-huh, yep. Yeah. All right, cue to fly, Drillber, 
dung beetle guy, Ponyta. Like we're like literally, let's make a Pokemon about poop. That's just we're what, to give him the weirdest face possible. I know it's because he's the poop Pokemon. <laughs> They're like literally, we're gonna make like a Mr. Hanky Pokemon, and it's this guy. Howdy ho! Howdy ho! <laughs> Heavy baton. Yo, the mist energy though. All right. Pineco. Behem. And Coridon EX. Dang, that's so crazy. You got the ancient Pokemon. Oh yeah. I got an ancient Pokemon, but both of us got future packages. So nice. I don't think that this guy is gonna go too well in my deck. I don't know. He's got the retribution tackle, you know, strike attack. Could be kind of good. Kind of like a strike back thing. I don't want to give up two prizes, but it, it's it's here. All right, we got him. Coridon. Now if I find a future booster energy capsule. So true. That'd be hot. Pedov. Pineco. I'm going to give you a spoiler. I got... There's an ace spec in here. Oh, did you see pink? I saw pink, dude. You can't oh. miss it. I saw it just like on the edge yeah. of it. The, there's an ace spec. Head ringer, Shh. team flare gear. Shh. <laughs> Carefully now. There's an ace spec coming. That'd be very quiet. You gotta be very quiet. <laughs> Mudsdale. Explorer's Guidance. I didn't even play one of those in my last, <laughs> but it's cool. It's gonna go in the kit regardless. Colossal. And reboot pod Ooh. yo for my future Pokemon. I was <laughs> I was really hoping that we didn't get the ancient drum. That was gonna be <laughs> so bad. But we literally got the reboot prod. This is just broken in my in my pre release kit. So heck yeah. Reboot pod is insane here. I've got the future package and reboot pod allows you to attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each your future Pokemon. Well, all right. Now all I need is some insanely broken, you know, future EX Pokemon or something. Come on. Let's <laughs> Hurry, go. Please. Hurry, please. Give me broken EX Pokemon. Heather got one. Give me one. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. Give me broken EX. All right. Chatot. Cottony. Carvana. Ekans. <laughs> Ekans. Sandy Shocks. Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he says? <laughs> Sand well, SpongeBob. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Sandy. I need, I need water, water, Sandy. Yes, sorry. My brain is nothing but pop culture references and Pokemon cards. That's all I know. And Coridon. Okay. I need it. I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't it. need it. I need it. Yep, yeah, see. Turtonator. Man, they really need to make another good Turtonator. It's been so long since Turtonator GX. Turtonator GX was such a handsome boy, and now we just get bulk Turtonators. Turtonator has fallen so far from his stature. He's got to come back. That spit, look at his schnoz. Spit out shot. That's really what. <laughs> That's all you could come up with. <laughs> we, there's too many attacks that have to do with spitting. I just. Spit out shot, bro. Okay. Yeah. It's not he's not, that's not even his mouth, that's his nose. It couldn't be like fire spit or something. Or like <laughs> spit out shot. Okay. All right, fine. Hooters. <laughs> Beldum. Very nice. Heat more. Perilous jungle. On pheasant. Yo, don't I have that thing like the the pie dove? You did get the pie dove. Yeah, but he he like allows you to just search for the unpheasant, right? Does it really? Once so during, you don't even need the trample. Yeah, yeah. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon's remaining HP is thirty uh -huh. or less, so all I need you to do, Heather, is just poke my <laughs> poke my bird for just twenty. Yeah. Don't knock it out though. I'll think about it. All right, yeah, and then I can evolve into my unpheasant. I'll all go right. back to you. Yes, unpheasant. Airy, I could remove items from your hand. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Sizzlypede, Rapidash, and Relicanth. Le Fiche. Litten. Shroomy. You know, I'm playing an Emerald Nuzlocke right now. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. 
And the thing is, is that I always pick Mudkip, all right? And I'm probably on my 50th attempt. And <laughs> at least at least a third of my attempts have been <laughs> ruined by Shroomish. <laughs> yeah, Shroomish is a, is a, there's particularly tough Shroomish at the beginning. They're run-unders for sure. Listen, this thing absorbing my Mudkip for four times weakness? Nah, bro. Now, Natalie was literally yeah. just telling us, Andrew says Shroomish is a real run end. <laughs> he is, bro. <laughs> Thankfully, though, in my latest Emerald Nuzlocke run, I've got a Shroomish that I caught myself. So now I, oh. I'm i hoping that Shroomish will uh, lead me to victory. Yes. This is the run, though. This is the run. <laughs> I'm probably on, like, run 50, but this is the one. Tate and Liza would like a word with you. Oh, no. Tate and Liza are going to be easy peasy. <laughs> Great Tusk. I got to the water guy. On my furthest run, I got to the water water leader. I don't know what his name is. Oh, my God. Let's go. I know. I know. I know, Heather. I just got the secret R rares. Come I know. On. Heather is like, come on. I tried come so on, hard. Man. I, I, I got two full arts in this one. I know. I know. Two full arts, but I've got the secret art rare. Walking Wake EX. Let's freaking go. This Streamer thing. packs are rigged. I know. Tricky Jim. Well, you know what? <laughs> he heard you, Heather, and so did I. <laughs> because before the stream started, you took a look at Walking Wake and you said, why did they need to turn Suicune into a Velociraptor? <laughs> I'm just saying. Why would they make him a dinosaur? And so I get the pull. All right. Yep, oh, my that's God. That's right. He was listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> and. I think he's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him climbing the tree. No, right. well, I'm not saying he's not handsome. <laughs> I mean, good for him. He's climbing his tree. <laughs> I just, I'm like, yeah, I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah, he doesn't go in my deck very well, unfortunately. But he is, he is he's very getting nice. a sleeve. He's getting a yes. He's getting a dragon shield perfect fit for sure. Very, very nice. Wow! Look at that, <laughs> Mister Wake. Wake up. Man, one of these times. One of these times you'll get a secret rare, Heather. <laughs> I think I'm like 3-0 on secret rare hits. Yeah, though. you are. At least for the last three that we've done. Uh, I think I get a secret rare in, in every one. Dang it. Dang, dang it. Dang. Punching, punching air. <laughs> Heather over there. I'm going to go home and punch my drywall. <laughs> yes. Cottony. Carvana. Ekans. <laughs> Ribambi. The lawnmower 5.0 from Manscaped. <laughs> Rabska. Hashtag advertisement. Shroomy Goomy. Carcol. He's so cool. He's just, he's a minecart. <laughs> <laughs> with a face. Yeah, with a face. Relicanth. And that is it. All right, it's cool. We Insane. Got the nice secret art rare walking wake. And the reboot pod for. My broken future deck. Now, Heather and I will put on a little lo-fi and craft our decks. We will remember to include all of the basic energies required to play Why our respective decks. <laughs> of course, well, duh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we will be good deck builders. We will be good deck builders, and we will not put stage ones stage for which we have not pulled the basic for... Right, we're just gonna, you know, really remember our remember our P's and Q's here, you know. Cross our T's and yeah. dot our I's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna make sure, yeah, we, we're following the basics, you know. <laughs> it's fine. We're chilling. If you wanna, box. If you want another set of forty? You just wanna reuse your other ones. Um. I got apple yeah, green or truth. Give me some apple green. There you go. Cool. The truths I have, they're reserved for my Goldango deck. There you go. Yeah, I think Goldango. I know you're a Goldango fan. I freaking love Goldango. That He's, rocks. He is like peak Pokemon design. The minute I saw him in Scarlet and Violet, I'm like, oh my god. String Cheese Man, save me. <laughs> that rules. And you were already, you already liked Metal Pokemon a lot. Oh, 1,000%. Yes. They, now I just wait for them to print a good single prizer Goldango. Have Metal Pokemon always been your favorite? No. I when? just because of GLC, I started loving oh, Metal wow, Pokemon. Oh wow, that rocks. Yeah. Really? And oh, now that's funny. But 
it's inspired me to, in my Pokemon runs, you know, right now, in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, I'm doing, like, a mono metal run. Oh, that's so cool. Just to make it make it a little more fun for myself. Oh, that is fun. You're like a gym leader in the game. Exactly. Oh, that's so fun. It's like a little challenge. <laughs> I get a little play pretend. <laughs> yes. Love that. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, the Metal Gym Leader Challenge deck is definitely one that I, I really enjoy uh, playing a lot. It's got some really cool dudes in it. Man, big beefy dudes that hit hard. Yup. Zalmazenta's so sick. <sighs> and the, I like the silly Celesteela. The Celesteela? I know. Me too. Playing the Celesteela in my, in my deck recently was so much fun. The fact that it's not even weak to fire is hilarious. <laughs> right? It's weak to lightning for some reason. I guess it's Celesteela like flying type? I yeah, it's part flying, part steel. Yeah. I, I guess. Cool. Yeah. Celesteela gotta go crazy. What do we got? All right. I got the mids. Play set a play set of mids. That's cool. And then I think I'm just trying to sparking strike. And then this is reveal the top five cards of your deck. This is attacked as 70 damage for each future card you find there. Sheesh. Then discard those future cards. <laughs> no. I don't know if I want to do that. No. I would never. Why would you ask me to do that? I don't think I want you, Iron Thorns. You're so destructive. <laughs> I'll use Iron Jugulus instead. Destructo Press? You get to keep all the non future cards, I guess, but. Right! Jeez. I don't know. I guess it's kind of crazy if you, like, can Cryptomaniac. I do have extra. See all the stuff I pulled from my. I got another Beldum if I want it. Dude, Iron Tread stinks. <laughs> yeah, he's really bad. <laughs> he should should mm. play him. Oh, Stunk, get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not what you want. Heavy Baton. Oh no, none of these guys got a retreat cost of four. Oh, here's another Iron Hands. No, he's not very good either. All these, all these guys, none of these guys are as good as the mid ride on. He seems to be the premier attacker. I think I'm gonna throw in some Iron Jugulus instead of Iron Thorns here. Oh, Iron Jugulus seems cool. Yeah. yeah, he's got like the strike back thing. Yep, three damage counters if you touch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's just good. And he's colorless. Can use. Oh yeah. Any yeah, energy? Yeah. yeah. Get out of here, Iron Thorns. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. out of here. He seems busted. Two buddy poffins this time around. We'll make it work. Did you pull a Cypher Maniac thing? I did have one in my kit. Well, that card seems pretty good. It's really good if you're doing the Iron Thorns thing. You could stack two thorns oh. and then destructo press. <laughs> that's true. You could iron thorn. Oh, okay. I think that's the that's like the. I'm all right. I'm putting the thorns. In. I'm doing it. I'm gonna destructo press. It discard my other thorns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Faux show. Sure. Raging Bolt, very handsome. I don't think I'm going to play him because he's an ancient Pokemon. No, he doesn't really fit the vibe. He can watch from the sidelines with his really long neck. Yes. Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking. Man. That's an attack name. Or that's a trainer name. Youngster Miriam? Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I get it. I get it now. All right. I see what you did there. You Destructo press the thorns away and then you Miriam oh. them back into the deck. Cool. Cool design there. That's neat. I like that. All right, game designers. I see you. Your scene. Get here, very fun. Very fun, very fun. Airy, hilariously good in standard, hilariously terrible in pre-release format. There are, like, no items to discard. You can get rid of my, my trimmer. <laughs> You're not going to play the trimmer. I'm not playing the trimmer. Don't play with me. You ain't trimming. 
nothing. I'd be so mad you could uh, get rid of my buddy buddy poffins. My goodness. Man, this stinks. I have to use three energy types with the... I guess Iron Thorns only discards the future Pokemon, though. So, like, that's fine. I think I just play all the future Pokemon I can and then just go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see the vibe. You now. got the cracked kit. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this kit goes crazy for sure. I'm putting the other... I'm playing six Iron Hands in my deck. Oh, my God. Or, no, this is an Iron Yeah, that was going to say that's... A <laughs> They're not the same guy, but they feel like the same guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that just is higher chance of <laughs> shenanigans. Did I get any other like terrible future guys? I don't think so. Their only jobs are to get discarded. So there we go. Oh, that's fine. Oh, hey, I had a Miriam too. She was hidden in my basic energies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> from yeah, the, yeah. From the from kit. The kit. <laughs> Definitely need her. Okay, and then he takes psychic. And lightning, and he takes lightning. And then this guy is metal energy, though. But that's the thing is, like, I don't even want to do any of this stuff. I just want to do that stuff. But I feel like. I feel like I can't. I'm going to start Iron Thorns. That's fine. Just don't bench your other ones. But then you got to shuffle them back into the deck so that you can. I guess that's fine. All right. How many energy spots do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's plenty. All right, 14. Good. Perfect amount. I'm going to play with 12 energy. 12? That's a good number. <laughs> do you think that's a good number? I think that's a that's a fine amount of really? energy. Really? Yeah, that's a good, healthy amount of energy. Perfectly serviceable amount of uh -huh. energy. Yes. Some might say it's too many. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody, nobody has ever said that. Man, I really want to play this Iron Leaves, but I'm already playing three different types of energy. More energy types. Yo, and the Luminous. One, two, three, four. Six. I feel like I need probably two psychic, and then one, two, probably like four ish lightning. No, probably six ish lightning. Because, like, what if I just want a Megaton Lariat, you know? It does a treat. I might have to just mess around and Megaton Lariat. Three, three, four, five, six. Pass me those basic energies when you get yes. a moment. Thank you very much. Indeedy's hey, Indeedy has a hand. the keeper of the energy. <laughs> She's <laughs> so cute. Good for her. Uh -huh. Look at her, a working woman. Yes. Happy Women's History Month. Thank you, Indeedy. Three, four, five. Luminous. I could play the one luminous. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. It's, it's a healthy amount of energy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not going to be hitting off these metal makers at all, but that's fine. Three, four, five. Like what? The metal makers are only there so that like maybe I maybe I attack with Metagross once. I don't have any other trainers to play. Aerie is pointless. She's doing her best. She's not helping. <laughs> Iron leaves and the apple green dragon shields. Oh yeah. Handsome. That's gonna go handsome. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yep. 
Yo, Mawile? Kind of. Nah. <laughs> What, what is what is he cooking over Switch there? Switch in one of your opponent's bench Pokemon in the active spot, and this attack does 30 damage to the new active Pokemon. It could be a switcheroo, you know? <laughs> the old switcheroo. Yeah. Just, shoof, there's not a lot of switcheroos, you know? Any of these guys got four retreat costs? No. Not even Metagross has four retreat costs. That's wild. Yeah. All right. Sick. I'm just about ready. I'll play them all while. No, I won't. <laughs> I lie. Having a little crisis over here. deck is complete. Flawless. Flawless. I'm going to be discarding so many of these Iron Thorns. Same. I'm going to do like a 200 damage attack. Sheesh. My Iron Leaves is in danger. Yeah, just wait till I discard five Thorns off my <laughs> Iron Thorns. Painful. And you get the free retreat. Yeah, man. With the future booster energy capsule. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Give him the old switcheroo. Okay. Okay, pile. Oh, hello, Raging Bolt. It's feeling left out. Thank you for the raid there, Polka Dubs, and thank you everybody for the subs and the support throughout the stream. I am, you know, playing the part of player, producer, and stream mm. conductor today, so I don't can't quite thank everybody, but I do really appreciate it. So thank you all so much for the support. We're starting a best of three right now with our pre-release decks. No, thank you, Polka Dubs. Appreciate that. Just opened our kits. We got some cool pulls. I got the Secret Art Rare Walking Wake, and Heather was able to find yes. the Full Art Iron Leaves. Where'd he go? Full Art Iron Leaves. There he is. Does go well in your deck, Lovely. Though. Lovely iron leaves. I do like Verizian, so I can't complain. The Swords of Justice. The Swords of Justice. Battle me. <laughs> Battle me, Cabalion. <laughs> Caldeo, the Caldeo, man, Caldeo EX Full Art from Boundaries Cross. That's got to be the coolest. Now that's a card. That's got to be the coolest Caldeo card that will ever exist. That thing, that thing rocks. You can't beat that. Man, I know I got I know I just got nostalgia for it because like that's right when I started playing competitively, and actually the first full booster box that I ever got for myself, ever, where I got to open a booster box, all thirty six packs, just for me. Just for you. Was boundaries crossed. That's sick. And it was, uh, I had uh, the girlfriend I had at the time, uh, her mom got us each a booster box for Christmas. And it was like, and I was like 23. And I, and I was like, this is not. This is, this is the best day. I can, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh, right. Yeah. And up until that point, I had never, I had never opened an entire booster box by myself. It's a big day when you get to open your very first booster box. That's all for you. It's all for you. It's like, dude, this is crazy. It's so nuts. I remember being like 
you know, a kid in like, you know, 99, 2000 and like going to kids birthday parties during like the 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 peak Pokemon like hype and craze. And I remember, you know, seeing some kids would get like 12 packs for their birthday. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking like. That's so nuts. Yeah, like, that's so many cards. Twelve booster packs, dude. He's gonna get so many cards. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> God, like I just, so sick. I just remember I was looking at old family photos uh -huh. recently, and there were pictures of me like under the Christmas tree with yeah. my gifts, uh -huh. and I distinctly remember seeing blister packs of EX Legend Maker <sighs> and EX Crystal Guardians, and just getting like one or two packs for me was like. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa. for sure, for sure, for sure. So it was sick. such a treat. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's get into this. Heads or tails, Heather? Give me tails. Oh, tails never fails. I'll go first. Sounds good to me. All right. <laughs> what are you giggling about over there? Nothing. <laughs> Don't mind me. Goodness gracious. All right. Ready to go? Yes, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> he copied my homework. I'll draw for turn. Got the iron leaves in hand, but I want to save for when I can use that ability. Oh, I started two Buddy Buddy Poffins, by the way. Golly, just, Heather. Just so everybody knows, Golly. I started two of those. That's so crazy. <laughs> what? What the heck? Oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to grab a Totodile. You can't get that Marida. Oh, I can't. That, that... Was a, I, that was kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> Extremely loud, incorrect buzzer noise. That was a joke. I was kidding. Everybody laugh. <laughs> All right. I'll grab another Totodile. I, was say, I don't think you have four targets. I don't. It's just the toads. Do I really want to bench a third one of those? I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll grab two totodiles and I'll fail the second buddy buddy puffin. Get that out of my hand. All right. See that one I have an excuse for. Battle VIP pass. There you go. All right. Okay, enough fooling around. I'll attach luminous energy to Senor Thorns here, and I will pass. Draw. Now, what if you just sack my thorns turn two? That'd be funny. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would stink. <laughs> All I need is two future cards. I, I, yeah, I know. And if I draw into my Cypher Maniac... Yeah, that's the thing is I have Cypher Maniac, but I'm a turn behind. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, yes, this is tough. I think I have to stack. Okay, so uh, I'm going to attach a lightning energy to my thorns, and I'm going to use my Cypher Maniac. And I get to stack some cards on, my, on top of my deck. So I think I just kind of have to hope that you don't knock out my guy. You know what? Yeah, I would have loved to. If you didn't open the Iron Thorns <laughs> with the energy on it, then I would have just not played the Cypher Maniac and then guaranteed 140 next turn. Right. But you did. So now I have to play the Cypher Maniac. Right, because you could just knock me out. I sure can. Yes, in which case then I'm just like on a one-way path to losing this game promptly. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to start setting up Maybe the Metagross strategy. Let's see. I can I can go Morty to draw more cards. Youngster even. I mean I've just got a handful of like pretty much nothing, so youngster's not bad. I I'm I'm okay to just you know youngster. Just stop yeah, just top deck the youngster for next turn. That seems fine. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm gonna get youngster and just something else. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Top deck of basic water energy. Excellent. I'll attach that basic water to Senor Thorns. Got a crocodile on hand. Start building up our totodiles. Hi. We're gonna we're gonna destruct oppress. Reveal the top five cards. Oh yoik. Okay, so now both of these have to be future cards. Oh, there's one. Ah, <laughs> only seventy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this iron thorns goes to the discard, and the rest get shuffled Shuffle back, back in. into the deck. Whew. You live to see another day. I did, but I like couldn't have. Yeah, I couldn't have just like banked on that. Nope. I think I had to. Yeah, I had to stack something live on the top of the deck for sure, just in case. Because look how close you were. <laughs> I just needed one, one more, more. One more thorns, and I'm out of here. Okay. All right. Get out of here. Draw. Oh wow, it's a youngster. <laughs> what? No I'll way. Evolve into Matang. Lightning energy to thorns, and youngster. Shuffle draw five. And I just want like a Maridon or two. That'd be great. I'd love to see one of those. I'm also thinking that I'm just totally going to knock out your thorns. And that this thorns is just going to pretty much just going to run the entire yeah board. Yep, that's what's happening here. Five cards. Dang it. I got two future Pokemon off that, which yeah, I didn't yeah. want. That's fine. Is it correct to Metal Maker first? I don't think it matters because the cards go to the bottom of the deck. Right. I think it's actually correct to probably. Oh, well, I have to Metal Maker. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's the attack. <laughs> it's yeah. The attack, yeah. It's late, guys. All right, Metal Maker. Andrew's one mistake to my 12. Holy moly. What the heck? Yep. Oh, yeah, you're mad. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> what the heck, man? Okay. okay, fine. And then Destructo Press. <laughs> One, two. Aww. Oh yeah. <laughs> Three. Oh, no. Four. Five. You are super dead. Two hundred and ten damage. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Iron Thorns. Yep. See ya, bud. You tried your best, dude. I just popped off. Yeah, three, you did. What? Three the... energy on the. <laughs> What the <laughs> heck? Man, how am I supposed to compete? I told you, this single Iron Thorns is going to just win the entire game. Yeah, I was hating on the Iron Thorns. You were. Until I realized how broken it actually is. <laughs> Man, if I had hit one more, I could I have know. prevented then that. Then this would have never happened. This would have never happened. A top deck of water energy. Be serious. Okay. Well, we're going to Miriam. <laughs> Put the guys back in. Get back in there, soldiers. Shuffle those back into my deck, and then I will draw three. Oh, yeah. All right, the future Matang deck is definitely just... Broken. Very broken. Okay. I've got so many thorns. I can't believe you just discard the oh thorns. Oh, my God. A one, a two. A three. All right. Got a Fraligator. I can work with that. Mm. Attach a basic water energy to said Fraligator. I didn't want a chance moving him to the active just in case I didn't Find take it, right? that course of action. Uh, do have Salvatore in hand to get a Croconaw so I can boot up another Fraligator next turn. Um, I'm going to have to pass. Draw. I think almost all the metal energy in my deck are, you know, now just in my hand, but that's fine. It's Metal Maker, just to check. Yep. No, that's fine. And then we are going to Miriam. Really? Got a Miriam, just the Maridon? I guess so, yeah, sure. Miriam the Maridon back into the deck. 
What's crazy is I just assumed that Maridon was like the best guy, but it's looking like Thorns. Thorns is just that dude, actually. Oh, whoops, I already attached for turn. <laughs> That's fine. It's late. <laughs> Good catch, chat. Thanks. All right. Miriam, drawn my three. One, a two, a three. Dang it. I shouldn't have drawn those cards. Now I can't destructo press them. Um, it's fine. Hmm. Yeah, his butt is not retreating, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no. Not doing How that. How does he not have four retreat? I don't know. I just need to hit one off Destructo Press. We could do it. There's still a lot of mid ridons in there. All right, Destructo Press. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it. Womp. No. All right, this is the downside of the thorns. <laughs> hey, at least you don't have to discard those. That's true, or else this would not work. Average Tyranitar <laughs> card behavior. Discard yeah. all of your deck. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll do it for turn. Another Fraligator? Okay. Got a Salvatore. Search my deck for a card that has no abilities, so that means I can go grab me a... Oh, no, I can't. There's no Croconaw in here. Oh, no. Well, I'm out of Croconaws. <laughs> <laughs> That's painful. So Totodile will stay a Totodile. All right. Okay. Now I will attach for turn to this for alligator. And I will pass. Because there's nothing I can do. Draw. Dang it. And top deck them right on, of course. All right. What do you do if you have all your future Pokemon in your hand? <laughs> 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 These guys, it's like I'm never going to hit. Okay. Oh boy. <clears throat> Metal energy to Matang. Destructo press. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> They're all in your hand. They're all in my hand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm not doing a whole lot over here, so. <laughs> all right. It is what it is. Your go there, partner. I draft a turn. Well, I can at least do this. I'll attach to the Totodile. Put my thorns out of his misery. Yeah, put him out of his misery. Please do this. Manually retreat. <sighs> Feels so bad to have to giant wave for a dog out here, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to giant wave. Sploosh. My thorns finally goes down. You know what? You're really good in the in the first attack there, but <laughs> yeah, not really doing anything for two turns straight. Draw. Explorer's Guidance. Holy smokes. That card. Yeah. Explorer's Guidance. We're gonna Yup. We're gonna look at six. Oh two, three, yeah. Four, five, six. And I get to keep two <laughs> and discard everything else. I know. This is so heinous. That's fine. I think you can't attack this next turn. No, I cannot. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. He's got 180 hit points. Are you sure? It's too many. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna keep Jacques, and I'm going to keep the uh, lightning energy. Oh, my. And then all of those are... Boop. Save gone. me, Miriam. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> Miriam, save me. I've already played my Miriam. Oh, yeah, she that. can't save you. Nope, that ship has sailed. That's fine. And then I'll bench one of my mids. And you know what? This guy is actually cracked against your dad. No, it's not. It only does 160. Um... Attach here. I already attached. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Peak acceleration. All right. 40. That's, hey, start accelerating. In any way I like. That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay. I've only got five cards left in my deck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Furiously searching for something that <laughs> makes you draw cards. Oh, man. All right. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. I'll draw for turn. 
Ooh, top deck of Cypher Maniac. We'd we'll love to see that Wait, when I, I, I stopped myself from double yep, attaching, you, didn't I? You stopped yourself. Yep. Didn't I? Yes, you did. Yeah. You stopped okay. it. All right. Good. Um, I'm going to bench the Iron Leaves. Not going to worry about the Rapid Vernier. Don't have enough grass in play to really worry about that. Just going to get them started for now. Get a future booster energy capsule on there. Uh, I will Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking to stack my deck for next turn. Dang. What do I even need here? I would love a Grass Energy, for one. Ooh. Definitely Youngster. No croconaws, that stinks. So stinky. And if I youngster, it doesn't really matter, so. We're gonna put those two on the top of my deck. How am I supposed to take three more prizes? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out about that. Man, alright. The Thorns deck the Thorns deck seems so sick until this happens. Until that. <laughs> It was all fun and games until you're, oops, all thorns. <laughs> oops, all thorns. Uh, I got to pass. All right. Draw. That's fine. I'm going to play Morty's Conviction. Just kidding. All right. Please. <laughs> myself out. Um, yeah. Uh, attach lightning energy to my mid ride on, and I will sparking strike for 160. Goodbye. Hey, that'll do it. You did your best for alligator. Okay, Totodile. Keep him busy. Drop turn. Youngster, where'd that... No way. How'd that happen? Ooh, Iron Leaves EX, huh? Yep. Oh, boy. My last line of defense. <laughs> the, the Iron Leaves... I know. Well, I can't one Hikeo it. Nope. Yes. I could maybe if I had all these thorns in my deck. <laughs> All right. One, a two, a three, four, five. Oh, grass energy? Let's go. Oh, I'm bodied. You're so bodied. That thing's going to start attacking. All right. I cannot have that. Put you here. Put you here. And I will pass. Thankfully, the Iron Leaves can only attack back-to-back -back turns as, or cannot attack back-to-back -back turns That's as well. correct. So that is very good for me. Lightning energy to my mid ride on and sparking strike for the knockout. Okay. Don't have energy in hand, so iron leaves that could be kind of risky promoting him. It's got the future booster on it though. Free retreat. You're so right. <laughs> You're so right, man. All right. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even need a word. Don't need to worry about it. We're chilling. All right. I'm going to Prism Edge for knockout. 200 okay. damage with the future booster. That's take a prize. pretty gnarly. Yeah, it is. Okay. I will promote my mid-ride on and draw. How'd you get over here, Totodile? Get out of there. <laughs> Reboot pod, uh, no, no, baby. No, 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 no. My ace spec uh -uh. to put one lightning energy onto my <laughs> ride on. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I'll evolve into Metagross and Sparking Strike for 160. Sheesh. 160. 120. He's hurting. All right. It's not looking good here. Okay, let's see you got. I can't knock you out. I don't know. What can I do here? I think I got you. I think I'm bodied. I think you're bodied. I think I'm bodied. You'd have to, uh, I, I don't know, fully heal yourself. <laughs> and attack. Why didn't I put the <laughs> Biancas into my deck? I'm a fool. Oh, wait, I don't think I... No, I wouldn't be able to use her anyway. 
More than 30. Yeah, even if I retreat and switch into any of these other guys, I can't power them up in time. And nope. you can Oko anything I can put on my bench. Yes, I can. So that is GG's. GG's, GG's, Painful. GG's. All right. You know, the Thorns was like a rush at the beginning, and then quickly I... <laughs> Wait a minute. ...was like, no, this is actually horrible. <laughs> Wait a minute, this sucks. This is terrible. Yeah, there's not any, like all the memory in my hand. This is awesome. This is terrible. Mm. Yeah. I love drawing cards. The, the ace specs look nice. Yeah. Heather and I have both pulled an ace spec, and they look really nice. They I'll give you really dang nice. I'll give you like a. Yeah, they they actually uh, they really turned out. So they they look good. They are. 100% smooth, by the way. They have no texture to them. They are. They don't? No. They are 100% flat. They have no texture. <laughs> Checking my sources. I know. No, they just, they look good. Yeah, they do look good. I don't. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> There's no texture on them, I'm telling you. There's like a minute amount of God, texture on them. All right, there is a little texture, it's maybe a little bit at the top, where like where it says. If you feel it next to a regular, well, I ugh. yeah. There's I'm telling you, there's flat. There's no texture on it. If you, <laughs> I'm telling you, there's it's no like texture on it. <laughs> ah, no, things... I don't know. <laughs> it things. I'm telling you, chat. Don't believe Heather's <laughs> fake news. <laughs> That thing has gotten nothing. doubting my wisdom during Women's History Month. That really, thing is, that thing is look at look. I could even show you right there. <laughs> ain't nothing. That is flat as a pancake, bro. Ain't nothing. <laughs> but, There's ain't no texture on there, dude. Man. <laughs> to, okay, up at the top, like right there. Yeah, like the border and like, like by on the card name. Look at the wings. Just at the card. Just at the card name. Let's see that. The, the, just texture. at the card. Yes, just right there. <laughs> that is tech. but what I'm saying is like the entire rest of the card is no texture I'm like alright <laughs> alright we're losing the plot yeah it's okay. <laughs> this script is going crazy man oh and the border is textured yeah the border is textured no it's not yes it is <laughs> I feel it alright the border is a little textured <laughs> All right. Yeah. The border. It's just the border's texture, though. I'm telling you. All right. Here, we're going back in. Liz, this is important science. All right. People yeah. haven't gotten to take see a, these take yet. Take a look. Take a peek. All right. Upon closer inspection, the border is textured. You can see those little ridges. There yeah. is a very light texture along the border. The card name, it's textured. And the card name. There is a very light texture along the card name. However, the base of the card and everything else is completely flat and it looks really nice i'm feeling something yes very cool i'm feeling something <laughs> <laughs> i don't know man all right let's get to game two <laughs> i can feel it feel it in my jellies all right heather heather owned me on that one there's a little, <laughs> you're there's so a, owned there's a little bit of texture on the borders <laughs> They're so pink, though. So true. Yeah. Would you like to go first or second, Heather? I would like to go first. All right. <laughs> Not that it's served me well no. yet today. No, no, no. Trust. Trust you'll you'll get a dub. <laughs> the dub? Trust. The, the dub. dub cometh. The dub is here. Yes. Knocking on my door. The dub was the friends we made along the way. So true. <laughs> The dub was the secret art rare that I pulled. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I go home and <laughs> cry. Cry into my pillow again. And punch a little drywall yep. as a treat. Mm -hmm. I was trying. I was trying. I gave the whole pep talk. I said, "This is <laughs> Heather's night. She's gonna be the one who gets the secret art rare." You can't. You can't keep fumbling like this. They're gonna think I'm rigging the packs. I know. I was like, "That's their chat's gonna think." Chat's going to say it's rigged if I keep being the lucky one. So lucky. Andrew Mahone always pulls the good cards. All right. So now I know I can't waste my 
I was a combination of bad factors there. I wasted, I, and I had to open my crypto, so I had to use that or yep. cipher maniac. And then, uh, and then I chose to use my youngster, which is my other way to get the dudes out of my hand, <laughs> right? And then I well, used the Miriam for just one. Yeah, now I know. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I take a peek. Nah, you're going to be mad. You're livid. You think so, huh? Yep, you're going to be livid. Actually, I want to open that guy. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> buddy, you buddy, Poffin. You didn't draw. Oh, I'm kidding. Ha, ha, ha. Now I drew. Buddy, buddy, Poffin. Okay. <laughs> I got too excited. That's okay. Happens all the time. <laughs> Look at all these fellas. I'll just grab that one Toto dial. That's you know, the Fralligator is very handsome, but I'm not convinced that it is very good in the pre-release format. It's really... I don't think it is. This is no. the second time he's <laughs> failed me. It just doesn't feel good. The Matang, though, that card's good. The Matang goes crazy. Yeah. No doubt. And I'm trying to decide which is better, the future package or the ancient package. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. All right. I have a lightning. I'm Orange not Julius. I'm not convinced that Iron Thords is any good. So <laughs> it might be the ancient it's package. It's funny. I don't know. The ancient guys, they at least are, are reasonable. I'll pass. Okay. Draw them. I've got a fine hand. Future booster energy capsule to my mid ride on, making it do 60 damage. Pretty nice. And then I don't think that I want to put any of these guys down. I guess I have to put one thorns down. Oh, I'll put one thorns down. Fine. As a treat. And then attach luminous energy to my ride on. Dang. And youngster for five. That is my one opportunity to put future cards back into the deck. So I really am hoping that I am not spoiling it here by drawing into like five future cards. How could this happen? I know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Five big ones. It's going to be all future Pokemon. It was not. You're a hater. Okay. I am a hater. I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't nice of me. Uh, I've got the Beldum, and then I don't think I actually even want to play the Techno Raider. I've got like a couple guys. You've got your Iron Jugulus you're attaching to. Yep. All right, that's fine. He's gonna be blasting wind. Oh, that's that's a. Did, had, did, didn't the Lugia have that attack? I don't know. Some sort of Lugia at some point. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Peak acceleration. <laughs> it's peak. It's peak. My reboot pod is in the deck. Sick. Okay, I think I just want... What's in my hand? Hmm. Psychic here, lightning here. Man, you got turn one peak acceleration. That's right. Oh, yeah, and that does 40 damage to me. Youch! I can't believe that move 60. does damage too. Sixty. He's got the capsule. And then I take three, right? Yes, you do, because right. he bites back. That's right. He's got his little angry hands. All right. Okay. I draft turn. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. If you get one more attach, I'm dead next turn, regardless. So I should probably just keep walling off with Mister Iron Jugulus. But now, I'll invest in my own Maridon. And I will Youngster for five fresh cards. Might not look like it, but this is what peak acceleration looks like. <laughs> That's pretty good. You may not like it, <laughs> but this is what peak acceleration looks like. <laughs> so true. Dang, good one. <laughs> All right. All right. 
it's always tough going from like the Japanese translations to the official translations. Uh, some cards I, I'm so like ingrained that this is the way that it is that uh, I still like, like bravery charm. I still call it like charm of courage quite a bit. <laughs> charm of courage, nerd uh-huh. emoji. <laughs> We're failing the buddy buddy poffin for funsies. As a joke. As a treat. Or you're just out of 70 hit point targets, probably. Yeah. I'm not. I just don't want to put another totodial on my bench. <laughs> but my deck isn't public knowledge. All right. All righty. So I've attached for turn. I've supported. Now I'll pass. My turn. Draw. Okay. Hmm. I can't knock you out with the peak acceleration, so no more of that. Uh, I have to go in with the sparking strike if that's what I want to do. Ouch! Or I can just go up with the thorns and start swanging. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Attach to Mr. Thorns and retreat for free with the future booster energy capsule. Broken card. The only draw card I got in my hand is Miriam, so, you know, I got to discard a card if I want to draw more cards. All right. Destructo Such press. is life. One, two, come on, come on. Three, you're going to make me look stupid. Four. <laughs> womp, womp. I look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Iron yes. Thorns moment. <laughs> Starting to think this card's bad. I don't know about this guy. I'm not so sure about Mr. this Thorns. one. Mr. Thorns. <laughs> I don't know about this one. You're Ooh. fraudulent, for sure. <laughs> I draw a card. All right. Okay. Keep holding down the fort. For... Take three damage counters. No, I didn't do any damage. Oh, that's right. You didn't do any <laughs> Dang it. Ah. Man. I thought I had you for once. I was so wrong. Look at me go. Touch return to Maridon. Hmm. Man, now I wish I really had attached to this Iron Julius. Orange Julius, Iron Jugulus. Man, I'm going to have to pass again. Okay. Big old pass. Exhilarating. Draw. It's another metal energy. All right. Surely. <laughs> Surely. That's not my name. <laughs> I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> don't call me Shirley. All right. I will attach this metal energy to... Build them. And then let's go Destructo Press. Hey, we're in there. <laughs> oh, come on. Super dead. Man. 140 Man. damage. Rip. Woo. All right. All ah. right. All right. Take three. Now you take three. Yes. Okay. All right. That's fine. We're chilling. We're big chilling. Top deck of Mariah on. I bench an Iron Jugulus for funsies. Bench another Maridon. Hmm. Thinking. Attach for turn. And it's my turn to peak acceleration. Because one's going to go to... Um... You and the other one's gonna go to hmm. You can just get that Marad on going. Oh, I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, they don't have to go to two separate guys. Yoink. You could do it both to here. I can do it both in case he dies. True. Yes, because he's spitting. Might... In fact, I'm thinking he's gonna. In fact, I think he will <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In fact, I think he's toast. I'm so bodied. You might be. Draw. Oh. Oh, Arnar. Oh, man. What has he pulled? Ta da! The reboot pod. Not the reboot pod. Oh, yeah. The reboot pod. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's. Miriam, and I'm going to shuffle these two guys yep. back into the deck and then draw into them immediately. 
which is the exact opposite of what I want to do. <laughs> okay, but it'd be really funny. Not funny. <laughs> Not funny. Didn't laugh. Not funny. Iron oh, yeah. Thorns wants Pokemon Link? in the deck. Oh, yes. You did do damage to me, didn't you? Yes, yeah. I did. All right. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and then I get to draw three. Okay. Matang. What am I supposed to do with these goons? <laughs> I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> I attached two psychics instead of psychic. <laughs> Good God, Heather. Oh my God. Shut that up. This is fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm so fired. <laughs> I'm so fired. It's okay. Apparently, I double attached once tonight. All right. Listen, things are very loose on pre-release nights. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm allowed to do them. <laughs> okay. Metal Maker. Nothing. Hmm. Yes. Yes, very curious, yes. What are the odds that I hit two? Your guy is going to come up and destroy my guy. True. Yes. yes, yes. My sources say true. Yes. Very good. Destructo Press. Youch. Oh, yeah. Come on. Skadoosh. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <sighs> Wait for a whiff. <laughs> it never happens. Let's go. Let's go. Man. Man. It's fine. We're chilling. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Top deck of grass energy. We're chilling. It's fine. We Miriam. We keep going. It's fine. Put two Pokemon back into my deck. We're having a great time. I am once again at the point where the only two cards that put the guys back into my deck have been, <laughs> just, have hey, been, mine too. Have been played, and now they're starting to accumulate in my hands. No, no. You know what I still haven't seen? A Croconaw. Where's the Pokemon communication reprint? Please. Oh, my God, please. <laughs> On my hands and knees begging you. Pokecom, where please. are you? There's that supporter that's a Pokecom. That card is terrible, though. It's but it would go hard in this deck. <laughs> this deck goes so hard. Feel free to screenshot. Yeah. <sighs> no croconaws for me. But we'll slap an energy on old Orange Julius here. And we're going to sparking strike. Take a knockout. Get on the board. Mr. Thorns goes down. Get out of here. Heather takes a prize. I'm going to promote I take a prize. my mid ride on and draw. Okay. All of the dudes are in my hand. That's fine. What could be better than this? Guys being dudes. I know exactly what to do in a situation like this. Two lightning energy in the discard pile? Say no more. <laughs> Say less. Say less. All right. Metal Maker? I ain't got no metal energy in this deck to hit. <laughs> I'm just looking at the top four cards and putting them on the bottom of my deck. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> at this point, ugh. Techno Radar, discard Metal Energy. How many future guys are even in here? There's one. See, that's what I'm saying. All right. There's one future guy. That's it. There's one future card. Dang, I got lucky as heck with that last I was going to say, what in the <laughs> heck? To be fair, I just top decked a future card too, though. So, all right, all right. There were four. I hit two. All right. Techno radar for this thorns. And then I am going to bench Mr. Thorns and use Reboot Pod. You have used that every time. Let's go. Insane. Reboot pod, put lightning here. What the heck? Lightning here. <laughs> and a metal here. Oh my God. 
and then sparking strike How for am I supposed to keep up with this? You don't. I don't. I ween. I think I just lose here. <laughs> I definitely just lose here because <laughs> it doesn't even matter if I... Wow. Yeah, you just... Yep. Because there's no caveat on that second attack. There is none. No. Dang it. And I tucked. Yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> well... I'm just going to sit here and die. <laughs> I have to pass. Sparking strike. GG's. Yeah, yep, GG's. All right. Man alive. We made it. Hooray. Hooray. Thank you all so much for watching. And thank you, Heather, for joining us. Of course. It was so much fun. Always happy to help with the pre-releases. Uh, and I love having you on the stream. <laughs> it's great to have you back. So, Yeah. Hopefully you all enjoy your pre-releases this weekend. Good luck with your pulls. And again, we've got singles available for pre-order now at fullgripgames.com. If you want to support the content, support the shop, support Heather and I's employment. Help me keep my job. Yay. Thank you so much for shopping at fullgripgames.com. I'm getting to bed. Y'all take it easy me and too. have a good night. Yes, it's bedtime. Goodbye. Good night.